morning! Hello, everybody! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! I'm super excited to play this game! <laughs> Alira gifted me the game and... Like, probably a couple weeks or a few weeks back. And finally... I'm now finished with a few series that I've already been ongoing and... Now, we can start another one. Alira told me this was somewhat similar to like the UI style of Danganronpa. I actually don't know anything about this. I've never seen... I've never seen anything except the one time I, I lurked into Alira's stream of this game, but... Nothing like super story spoiler-ish is like... Sh uh, was shown to me, so it's okay. <laughs> Same dev? Wait, seriously? Wait, this is... This is by the same people? Wait, you're joking, right? Oh no... Oh no... Wait... Don't tell me, is it actually similar? Same publishers, oh... Oh, I see, I see... <gasps> Ooh, I'm so excited... I'm so excited... Also... I've been debating on this actually, but... You know, for this type of game... I may or may not be open to trying out, um... Well... I'm not sure. I'm still... <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm kind of interested in trying the English dub. Because, <laughs> uh, you know... If, if people say it's like kind of similar to... Danganronpa and stuff... Like, I actually did see Danganronpa in English. Surprisingly. Like, as someone who usually chooses the GP dub and stuff... I actually only know Danganronpa by English, so I was like, you know... Maybe this one might be another opportunity. <laughs> this might be a really good one, so... I think I'd like to try it, so... Um... I think it would be nice for a change. I think this one could actually work out with this game. So I'm gonna try the English voice. Cause, you know... I heard it's really good and I wanna... Give it a chance for once. <laughs> Especially for this type of game. I don't know. I mean, I still don't know anything about it or what's going to happen, but... I'd like to try it and maybe it'll help you guys not have to read sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah. It'd be really nice. Um... Oh, whoops, sorry. I forgot to change one thing. Um... Somnium Files. AI the Somnium Files. Yes, I'm not playing this game anymore. Okay, there we go. Nice. Alright, everybody. Also, thank you all, Nexus. Thank you for the super chat earlier. Thank you. Also, happy birthday! Happy birthday, all Nexus! Thank you, thank you! Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And, uh, Flyboy Joy as well. Thank you as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, so I'm gonna try this and I'm going to... Uh, experience what Alira said. Also, she told me she played it with keyboard and mouse, so... I don't know what the, the game plays like, so... I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it uh, the same thing too, I guess. Because I heard that you click things, like, on the screen. Similarly to, like... I don't know, she said it was, like, down your own bus. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll just play it and see how it goes. If not, then... We'll just do, uh, controller and stuff, so... Um, let's start. I'm excited. Also, I keep seeing, like, character names and stuff show up, so, like, I'm very excited to meet these characters. Everyone's saying I would get really... I would be really, really good with, a, like, another person, but I don't know who they are, so... I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous to see if it's true or not. I'm scared to confirm it. <laughs> Hopefully the audio isn't too loud. Is this audio or text? Is this text? Hopefully it won't be too loud. Is this text language? Not like audio, right? I mean, I'm probably gonna choose English anyway. Okay. <laughs> Cannot be switched. Oh, yes. Without a doubt. Supports autosave. Ooh! This is gonna be very helpful. Work of fiction. Names, characters, places, and incidents, either products of author's imagination. Oh, okay. Alira? <laughs> oh my god. 
Wait, what? I'm scared. What's gonna happen? Oh no. What the? Is that Umbrella Corporation? <laughs> Tell me I'm not the only person who thought that. No way, I knew it, guys. I knew it. It was Umbrella Corporation this whole time. <laughs> Hope you have fun. Thank you, Will. Thank you, thank you. So we're at a circus? Oh. <gasps> oh. The music. Good music equals good game already. That's all I need. Oh, what the? <gasps> oh, they're... Oh! They're... Oh! Wait, they're not alive, huh? Oh... Oh... Oh, God... What happened? Why is she tied to a horse? Alive? Oh. <gasps> AI. The Somnium Files. Will we ever find out? Or are they just gonna leave that as a cliffhanger and come back to it later? Day one, Friday. Sig AI? Bloom Park, Friday, 10, 54 p.m. Okay. Is this like a detective murder game? This has to be, right? Thank you for super! Yin yang yang. <laughs> <gasps> Tutorial? During investigations, the main character... Do you guys call it... Is it Date? I don't know if they say it in Japanese or if it's like in English... Date. <laughs> Date? Oh, yay! I'm kind of glad his name is Date because... Um, he reminds me of... Uh, what's his face? Uh... Shoot. Where's... Where's Date from again? Um... Frick, Frick, Frick... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Yakuza! Yakuza! <laughs> Date from Yakuza! Inspect scenes and collects testimony progress by examining objects and talking to people. Oh! Date's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor and your view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. Well, first... First of all... We gotta look at the body. The corpse. The mount the body is mounted on one of the horses. I should get a better look. I took a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? Why? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. Oh. I appreciate your understanding. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I would have messed oh, it up Jesus. real bad. Oh, what the heck? Who is that? Aiba! Allow me to assist you. Oh shoot, I'm gonna accidentally read some stuff, sorry. <laughs> that they already said it. That's Aiba. Her official designation is AI Ball. She is an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. An AI for an eye. <laughs> Allow me to use the zoom, right? Oh my god. Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. While playing through the story, I have a special vision modes can may help you obtain new information. You can now use the zoom mode to enlarge the target, select zoom and examine the corpse. Whoa! You can also view controls F1. Okay. Can I auto in this one? I don't like clicking dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because <laughs> I'm always like... I'm scared that I might misclick and then something happens or whatever. Is this... Is it okay? Okay. Um... So, Zoom. When you speak to a person, you'll be presented with choices and look. Use the choices to select the topic of conversation. Look will also allow you to observe the person you are speaking to. Okay. Zoom. Whoa! The left, left eye. eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. I can see that. Left eye. The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Ew! Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. Carved it out while oh, she was yeah? Still alive. How do you know? Correct. I would never want my I would never want a crow to like dig into my eyeball. That is like probably the most painful thing ever. Uh how about the uh, stomach? Wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death? Blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. Several punctured wounds, but no cuts or tears. That means... The victim was probably stabbed with something <gasps> pointed and smooth. Like an ice pick. Wait, does the auto not do it when during the narration part? I... Honestly, I read that all within. Oh! Is this a game changer? They let you click during the narration part? Oh my gosh! Unless it's off, then I don't know. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I read that right on point. Holy crap. Usually narration parts, they always skip me. Or never let me have the chance to talk. <laughs> okay, so... Ruth. It's been eight years since Bloom Park closed. The weather's gotten to it pretty bad. Auto slows this, if I recall. Oh! Horse! It's a horse from the merry-go-round. What if we talk to this person? Any suspects? So... <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> the rain is awful, huh? Who found the body? Yeah, who found the body? Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Ooh. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Uh-oh. That's suspicious. Uh, after finishing dis uh, discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain a important information or clues. Selecting log... Oh, okay. That's like history. Uh, what can you tell me about the victim? Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? Oh. What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. Oh, no. I wouldn't say that. Oh. We were just acquaintances. Damn. <laughs> Wow, just acquaintances. What if that girl like had a crush on you, huh? That's that's a little savage. <laughs> Any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. Oh. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? I like copycat like killers like. I don't know, situations. For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. A case six years ago? Oh my gosh. Friend zoned and dead zoned. <laughs> I know! At a very sensitive time like this. Alright, policeman. How's the investigation coming? Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. As per usual. Inspector. Um, thanks for coming out here in this mess. Uh, anything to go on? Yeah. I'm not trying to befriend these people. <laughs> not yet, sir. Oh, okay. 
Very helpful, you guys. Very helpful. Thank you. A local cop. I can't even talk to the guy. <laughs> okay, um, column. Oh. The main column holding up the roof. Control room. Is this the control room? The place where the operator sits to turn the ride on and off. I took a look inside, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. Hmm. Okay. What's your name? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. <laughs> it's Kagami, sir. <laughs> uh, he's a fanboy. Thanks for coming out in this mess. <laughs> it's my duty, sir. But thank you. Aw, he's nice. <laughs> he's super duper nice. There's a fence set up around the merry-go-round. Ask again? Okay. How are we to prevent nose nosy kids from getting caught in the machinery? It's Kagami, sir. <laughs> Wait, I have the option to just keep asking his name? Kagami. <laughs> are you serious? It's Kagami! <laughs> his name. I don't need to ask him again. Dang! That was so good, though. I'm pretty sure I know his name. He told me already. Does this, does this keep going? His name is... Uh... What was it again? <laughs> hey. What'd you say your name was? Hey. Hello? <laughs> hey. I know you can hear me, Kagami. <laughs> So you do know my name. <laughs> An inspector from Metro. I hope you find <laughs> I know you can hear me, Kagami. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so interesting how the dialogue thing works. You can still keep talking to them or clicking on them to make sure that you didn't like miss anything else. So, what am I doing here? Are you serious? Oh. You're Special Agent Kaname Date. Oh. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the yes, scene. Yes, ma'am. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. I mean, we're just acquaintance, acquaintances. What was that? Oh? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. <gasps> I knew inside it. The column? I knew there was something sus about that column. But I'm not done talking yet. Did you hear that? Yeah, I definitely did. I couldn't tell where it came from, though. Oh. Well, my super hacker eyeball just told me where it was. That sound just now. The sound? I didn't hear anything. Wow, you're useless. <laughs> oh my god! These people are useless! So wait, if... If like, uh... Wait, right now she's standing in the pouring rain with her umbrella up. Does that mean there's like more dialogue text that comes up from these things? Once it... like it... it grays out basically? It's a fence. Mm, oh, cityscape. The city skyscrapers crowd each other. Oh. Barrier. A red barrier line wraps around the scene. In the old days, they used to use yellow caution tape for this. Now we've got cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. Well, sometimes we use good old-fashioned yellow tape. You can move the camera. Oh, wait, uh, hold on. <gasps> Whoa! POV or Date! The horse from the merry-go-round. It looks like it's skewered. Oh! This is not a message from the criminal. The park was already in this state before the crime. What? My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Wow. Well, they're messed up. 
it's a bench. The horse is pierced upside down. It almost looks almost pitiful. Uh, let's see. Barrier. A hologram barrier. Okay. I'm just gonna click until everything becomes gray. Um... Oh, sky! This rain is depressing. Has it been like this all day? It doesn't look like it's letting up any. Any what? No, don't leave me on a cliffhanger! Ooh! The old fierce wheel is over there. Feels like an enormous eye staring down at you. The parasol is getting pelted by the rain. Panda! The panda ride looks lonely. Aww. Grass! Control room. The merry-go-round control room. There are no leads here. Uh, okay... Uh, I don't see anything else. I think we gotta go investigate the column now. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that sound just now. You heard it too, sir? I wonder what it was. What was your name again? <laughs> the noise came from inside. Date, use me to see through the column. Utilize the x ray mode. X ray? Oh, Q. <gasps> but if oh <gasps> wait, there's somebody in there. Oh no! What the? It appears as though someone is inside. Are they the one who killed? I threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up! <laughs> Damn! I pushed him aside and ran up on the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. Hmm. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. How do we open this, I wonder? We can't just punch the middle? Hey, whoever's in there, stay back. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. I thought he was gonna shoot them. <gasps> oh. Oh, shit! Wait, you know her? Oh. Mizuki. She killed? Oh. <gasps> I'm so confused. I have so many questions. Wow. I look so good. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Is so <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking the same thing too, Lyra. What is this place? This is your dream. I'm me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? Oh. Where am I? <gasps> Whoa! Oh my... Whoa! What is happening? Who is dancing? Wait! Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your Wait! Theory. I recognize that outfit! <laughs> Who are you? Wait, I've seen me, this! Be I've seen this character I before! Iba? Indeed. <gasps> Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? Fluorescent what shrimp? <laughs> I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. In the normal <laughs> circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? <laughs> you called me. My consciousness and your own. Wow. This is why I appear in your dream. I didn't know Iba Consider had an, an a different form. Email. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. 
I'm trying to sort out my situation. But my brain isn't cooperating. It must be because I'm sleeping right now. So things that I should know... I can't remember. My head is all fuzzy. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. She pretty. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? No. Pretty. Not at all. <laughs> I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Oh. Somnium scan. Activate. Oh. <gasps> Somnium. Whoa. Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. That's My what it means? My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This mm. world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. I must have a lot of mental those. Mental blocks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove <laughs> the mental locks? Correct. <laughs> so I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. <laughs> Please direct me to the door and give me Maybe this explains why we See, forgot his name. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Because we, we put up well, a mental I lock for that, that guy. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. He has a personal <laughs> mental lock for the, that that guy. I already forgot his name. Is it Kanami? Date, uh, Date's dream world. In this strange and surreal dream, trust the light to wake up Date. It's Kaniza. Kaniza? Is it... Wait. I can't tell if I'm being gaslit or not. Kazuo? <laughs> Kotoka. Insomnia? You can explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. A guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed. Okay. First move, Aiba closer to the door and investigate. Wait, I can move? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, wow! I can move? Well, hold on. I'm not exactly done here yet. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Wow! I didn't know we could move around. I thought this was just a visual novel, like, style. A door locked with a padlock. You can choose from a number of options to give Iva instructions. For now, we'll investigate. W! It appears all I have to do is open this door. <laughs> um. Hmm. I can't touch it. The way she Dreams opened that door. <laughs> Dreams are not bound by logic. I'm not sure if that was the, the right Sonia. hand position to do oh, that. But, dreams. um... My <laughs> she, she wasn't even, like, like rotating her hand to jiggle the doorknob. She was, like, stroking it. <laughs> I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen. <sighs> Date, look at that. Oh. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. This is my own dream world? It's not like... You must know. This is your dream. It's not like someone else's memories, memories, right? 
I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. Oh. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands. My assumption is that we're probably gonna go in other people's, Indeed. maybe. But it is difficult. But that's to just a prediction. Exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. A veto? You are able to investigate objects that have a floating name. A new object has appeared. Move Iba over to it and investigate. Okay, so... I guess... Let's see... Oh! Winter Iris. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Grab or smell? Um... Let's be safe and smell it first. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. What? Isn't it easier to visualize this way? What does pantomiming? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. What the hell? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, she's erupting the entire... Ah! Ah! What Amazing the hell? suction. Bravo. Ew. What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? What just went in her nose? You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. What was that? I couldn't even... Bl I blinked and I didn't even get to see it. I just saw like a tiny thing go in her nose. The entire plant? Oh. And check your progress on the left side. Oh. Your actions now just advance your progress. <gasps> oh, I like that. You can view the controls in the menu. Okay. Thank you. A switch. The thorns are gone. I guess I can't turn them off. <laughs> now I can activate the switch. Wow. Oh, there's more. This is reminding me of a different Isn't game. This rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. Oh, that's a lock checkpoint. Oh, turn on the light. Wow. You unlock the turn on the light mental lock. There is another mental lock in this Somnium. Unlock the next using the guide. Open the door as a leave. Okay. <clears throat> so there's some wine. A glass of wine. Ooh. Have a sip. Smell. Actually, what does investigate do? A luxurious red wine, popular on the market today. However, this appears to be a much brighter red than a typical bottle. Maybe Aww. it's a full-bodied red from Burgonia. What if it's blood? I wonder if that trivia will ever prove useful. Better to be prepared. Okay. A glass of wine. <clears throat> Let's smell it. Harder! Mm. The nose is fresh yet rich. I detect smooth tannins and stone fruits. Where did you learn that from? Why would you have something like this in your dream? Even a guy like me enjoys good drinks and better company. <laughs> but these social engagements never seem to turn out well for you. Stop. Don't remind me. <laughs> Stop. Don't remind me. A glass of wine. <laughs> He's funny. Have a sip. You know what? Let's have a sip. Leave it to me. Don't give me a game over screen. Hey! Whoa, that's a lie. <sighs> I feel kind of good. Oh. Why isn't AI getting drunk? Uh oh. <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. <laughs> she's so funny. 
She's so cute, too. She's cute when she's drunk. I'm kind of the same, too, actually. Uh... Where basket? Tackle it. Let's search. I'll try the rest. A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra? Chupacabra? And a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. Mm. This is somewhat different than occult. Interessante. Wait. A floor lamp. No! I can't tackle it or wear it! Dang it! I wanted to wear the basket! <laughs> um... How about we... We could turn off the light? But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In <laughs> fairness, this is your memory. But this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. Oh. It could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness. But oftentimes, they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Mm. Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. Oh. It's kind of dirty. Whoa. whoa. Shut up. What? <laughs> what were you trying to get there, Date? A lamp. Let's... Lift it up. Maybe there's something underneath. Oh. <sighs> Never mind. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality <laughs> spreading like pollen in the wind. Tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. He's funny. He's so dreamy. <laughs> a lamp. It looks like a rose. I do like him. He's really funny. Oh! You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. Ow! I saw the skeleton I felt that. Hey, Date. Are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? <laughs> we got some crazy ideas. Alright, so... Wait, are we seriously going to? A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. <gasps> oh! What if we talk to it? To the skeleton? Yeah. You just want someone to talk to, huh? <laughs> True. Hello. My name is Iba. What is your name? <laughs> How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. I'm 10% charged. Hey, don't ignore me. Stupid bony man. Bony Your man is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. Bony, bony, bony. Are you finished? Yeah, he really did just say skull emoji. <laughs> Know this skeleton. Oh my I god! Have no grudges against you. <laughs> I did not okay. expect. No! Oh my god! What? I have a look. The wall. <gasps> Wait, that was the right thing. Oh. What's happening? Everything's falling apart. We gotta run? Oh shit. <gasps> oh no! And then we get a game over screen. <laughs> and then we get sad violin music. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. <laughs> Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. 
You could describe him a little more generously. <laughs> hmm, a hidden item, insomnia. There's always one somewhere. Hmm, no more. I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. Oh. Boss sleep talking. Okay, so... Let's look around here real quick. <gasps> oh! My fish senses are tingling. What? I got an achievement! Dream documentation duty something. Oh. Did I just get like a Easter egg or like some sort of... I don't know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck was that? That was weird. A gun came out of the skull? Oh yeah, like a collectible. Pick it up! It won't go off? It should be fine. No. Don't shoot me. Oh! Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. <laughs> Don't get excited. <laughs> Remind you of anyone? No. What? What did she mean by that? Whoa. A door locked with a padlock. Uh... Put gun in keyhole. Yeah, that sounds like... That would be... Do you think something this size would fit? <laughs> That's what she said. Work it in a little. Try just a tip. <laughs> I suppose... <laughs> he did not just say that. He did not just say just the tip. <laughs> I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. Seems I was key at helping us escape. Oh my okay, god. He's a, so funny. I suppose this dream is over then. <laughs> Guess I'll wake up now. Good. <laughs> I'll open it. Okay. He doesn't notice us here, right? <gasps> Wait, he's got the gun in his hand, I think. I see it. <gasps> oh my god! He killed her! And who is that? <gasps> Mental lock number two. Wow! Awaken. I got another achievement. Nice. He is kind of hot, but... Maybe not for the killing part. Wow. Day two! Saturday. Psych at AI. Police headquarters, Saturday, 9.21 a.m. Okay, so this is the next day in the morning. That day is like you for real, for real? He is a little... I'll admit he has a bit of my humor. Ma'am? Hello? Good morning, Date. Uh, hello? I was waiting for you. Uh, uh, hello? Why is she on the desk like that? Um... They're doing this on purpose. <laughs> they did this to us on purpose. Oh my god. My weakness. Women. Women. Cross-legged on a desk. Cleavage out. Thighs. And... Oh my god. I can't. Christmas tree. That's been here a while. I mean... Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. She's so right, though. <laughs> I must have been here since the first time I was in this room. Boy band poster. Boy band poster? <sighs> yup. They're all my husbands. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Boss is single, by the way. I feel you. I know how you feel. <laughs> a map on the wall. Poster. A police poster. Wait. A boy band poster. 
Okay, uh... Public bath door curtain. Symbol. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. <laughs> I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. <laughs> uh, that's actually a really good stress relief. Stationary bike. Indoor training. Ooh. I wish I had one of those. Plaster figure. Um... Coat hanger. There's a lot of stuff hanging on the coat hanger. A cabinet. Okay. I think I got everything on this side of the room. An electronic darts machine. Why do you have this? So, if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. <laughs> she She's expecting that to happen. Chair. Computer. She has a computer on her desk. The type that has the monitor built in. Fancy. Happy birthday. That birthday party was a while ago, though. <laughs> she... Her entire office is just full of holiday stuff because she's too lazy to take them down. <laughs> a pumpkin carved like a jack-o'-lantern. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? Uh... Sorry, it was funnier in my head. <laughs> uh, I mean, she does make a good point. <laughs> um, bookshelf. It's full of flies... Or files, not flies. And binders, but I don't know what. It's got books, manga, movies, games, all sorts of stuff. What does she do in here? A bookshelf. Has tough, uh... A lot of stuff in it. Okay. Uh, Soba door curtain. <laughs> she has so many weird things in this place. A flag with a big catch on it. We could probably talk to her. Um, I see you still having to clean this place up. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, oh, wow. It? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. We're underground? So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. Hmm. About... Uh, actually, what's the status of the investigation? Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? <laughs> Commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. <laughs> huh. I honestly don't know. He I've doesn't... you boss for six years. So... <laughs> he doesn't Trust know anybody's name! Years. I suffer from a memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years ago. Oh, really? I've been having flashbacks recently. Fragments of my past. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. <laughs> huh. So, nothing to report then. Got it. So we're never gonna learn their name? Are there any leads at all? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but... It's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. Hmm, I don't think it was that person. There's definitely something deeper behind it. Um, about the ice pick. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Hmm. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? I don't know anything about her yet. About Mizuki. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. 
Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No, she just lives with me. Oh. What? Rizuki Okira. Or Okiura. The girl we found in the merry-go-round. She's 12 years old in the sixth grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood related. Oh. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. Aww. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. Must protect. Okay. I talked a lot. Let me look around the room real quick just to make sure. Coffee maker! I can't live without coffee. I love it smooth. Ooh, wait, no, you're gonna make me make some. I'm always amused by Boss's ability to make any sound or anything sound dirty. I wonder if she does it on purpose. Oh, sheesh. Oops, sorry. Shogi piece. It's a king shogi piece. Oh boy. Uh, Tanaki. Do you think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to ten square feet? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. What? Tanuki's ball sack? Say what? Wait, what the hell? She didn't... <laughs> Why is this a sound... This is reminding me of that one time when Alira was talking about... Raccoons and donut holes or whatever. You guys remember that? She was talking about how many, like, raccoons or... I don't even know... It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like the raccoon thing where you could fit how many in a hole? <laughs> this is literally what it's reminding me of. Hmm. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. So, boss's old love interest must have been an athlete. Interesting. Two and a half raccoons. Two and a half? But what? Where? Why half? Wouldn't. Ugh. What? I'm so confused. I'm so freaking confused, guys. Why is it two and a half? I don't get it. I, and like, isn't this supposed to like actually reference something else? So then how does that realistically work? I don't get it. <laughs> uh... Police officer mannequin. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. Mario? He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This was the moment I started to worry about boss's mental health. <laughs> I am as well. It's me, Mario. Nice to meet you. He talks? What the? Did you guys hear that? It was really quiet. It literally said, it's a me, Mario. <laughs> It literally just said that. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anything else? I don't think so. RC car. Overall length of 15.35 inches. It's Chris Pratt. <laughs> it did kind of sound like him. And a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Oh my god. I, I would pay anything just to see that. She looks like the type too. Oh my god. God damn. Women. Shelves. Okay, bags. Inside the bags are masks like for costume parties. Oh. Wine bottle. There are wine bottles lined up. Uh, tombstone? A tombstone. R.I.P. Rest in peace. Uh, okay, door. The entrance. Hmm. Oh! Hold on. AC vent. Cold air is blowing from the AC. Stop ogling me. <laughs> I'm not ogling you. That's how you say the word. I thought it was ogling. Is it ogling? What the hell? I thought it was o ogling. Oh, 
Matryoshka. Reminds me of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matryoshkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one, the smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. Matryoshka. Okay. Is that it in this side? I think I got everything. Let me just make sure I highlighted everything. Okay. I think I... Oh! Hold on. There was something I just... Oh. Broom! A broom was leaning against the wall. How was I supposed to see that? What the heck? Sushi never gonna explain to me about the tanuki thing? Oh, rug. That's a Persian rug, you know. Very expensive. Oh, yeah? How much? 10 billion yen. What are you, in elementary school? What? Oh my god! The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. Like you and me. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. <sighs> Oh, Date. Oh. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, there, lady. Hold up. Oh. Oh, shit. Boss's desk. There are stickers all over the front. Okay. I think I got everything so far. Just gotta make sure. Oh, no. Nope. That's my grandpa's I death didn't. mask. I had a huge face. Oh my god. Wait, death mask? Why is it so large? Oh. A souvenir from some rural town. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Okay. Uh. Oh. Am I missing anything else? Hold on. I'm so scared I'm gonna miss something. On my left. What did I miss? Oh, a large like key! It reminds me of you, Date. My name is Kaname. The kanji for key can be read as Kaname. But that's not my real name. I don't know my real name. I don't know anything about myself past six years ago. Oh. Interesting. So I have like partial amnesia basically, and I can only remember like up to or like the past six years, but nothing further than that. That's an interesting amnesia situation. About the case six years ago. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... <sighs> Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? I shouldn't have said anything. Hmm? That just makes me want to know even more. Yeah. The case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Oh. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. Well... So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. Nothing is impossible because... I don't accept that. I'm possible is in Just the word. Up, <laughs> uh, is, uh... Let's see, about Renju Okura. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby, being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just... ...standard procedure stuff. Whoa! Renju is Shoko's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Not to mention an old friend of mine. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> I wonder what Renju was doing last night. <laughs> I did call him a few times. He didn't he answer. He had, like, such a Chad, like, animation no. movement. The local police tried his phone too, but... They got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. 
Mm. Okay. Um. Wait. I can still ask about the case. I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. Even if you took me to the finest club in Kabukicho and showered me in Dom P, my lips are sealed. But why? What's boss? Dom P? It's top secret, classified. Was that bad, huh? If that's how you want to interpret it. What is Dom P? Dominant P? Give it a rest. Don. Expensive wine? Dom Perigonin? This isn't harassment. Perig or perigmin? sexual. Perigmin? I can make it sexual. I can. Oh! What? It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. <laughs> I can detect your thoughts. <laughs> Thank you for your input, Iba. I just got caught in 4K. That's so embarrassing. Just promise me you'll let this go, okay? It's pronounced Perion. It's a delicate oh. issue. Even more delicate than my patience. So drop it. That's an order. Understood? No, ma'am. I'm definitely not going to get anything else out of her. She can be surprisingly stubborn sometimes. Oh, okay, that's it, I guess. Is there any other information? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami oh. Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, oh, wow. Rural district. 36? Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Oh, Renju drinking and buddies. Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Oh. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. Oh. I should also give you this. It's I a can sort of, of see where this is going. You need this when you're trying to get information, right? <sighs> Since you don't have a cell phone. I took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. Interesting. Hmm. Did we ever identify who called it in? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Oh. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. What if it's abandoned? All we know is that it was a payphone. I'm on a payphone. That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. That's the only thing I think about when I hear payphone. <laughs> Ugh! Why my eyeball do that? Ew! It just came out! Ew! Aww, that's so cute. I'll admit, that did recover it. Aww, I look like Hamtaro. You know that show? Hamtaro? That's what, th hello. That's what she looks like. <laughs> no, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. <laughs> I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. <laughs> Aww, so cute. Iba. You know, you were kind of cute like that. Yeah. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. <laughs> Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand you. <laughs> Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute at all. <laughs> oh, you're handsome. You are a handsome looking man. <laughs> <gasps> no, stop it. <laughs> are you okay, Dante? Perhaps it's time for his medication. 
<laughs> Who are you? Who are you? My name is Konami Date. I work as a special agent for the investigation squad of this <laughs> Oh my god, this is too good. Hello, me. Did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? Yeah, just a little trivia for you. A little trivia? I'm full of useful information. Wow, you're so smart. It's me. I don't think I'll ever get used to seeing myself with my own eye. It's creepy. Well, I suppose it really isn't really my eye. I buzz my left eye. She's outside my eye socket right now. But I see what she sees. As if it were my own eye. Her body and the terminal in the back of my eye sockets are connected wirelessly. That is such a weird thing. I can't imagine having an eyeball like that and it just popping out when it wants to. Who are you? Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. No, I don't. What's your name again? <laughs> Why did you come out? I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? It's been five years since we first met. One day I got called into the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. Oh. The official title is AI Ball. Whoa! You may call her Iba. What is up with this guy's the outfit? The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing this short of This guy looks like weapons. a chuny. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think Nano is machines. controlled by a program we call the <laughs> Wadget System. <laughs> Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. He looks like a Pokemon she will gym be leader. Your personal computer yeah. And your personal <laughs> companion. He does. I've just been living in my head ever since. She gathers info and runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hack into other computers. While she's in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to my brain. It lets us talk without actually speaking. Okay, um... I get to ask this again. Why did you come out? Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. Why? I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? <laughs> Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? Who? Who reported the crime? I found the payphone that the caller used. <gasps> it was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Wow. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of You're any telling me the payphone happened nearby. near the crime scene so when we could have, you know, investigated that? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial Is recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, oh. who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. I have marked his address on Ota. the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Wait! I'm not ready! Oh, when you're able to visit a new destination... Oh, okay. Okay, thank you! Okay, back inside. No. Excuse me? I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> wow, okay. Um... About... I... I've been thinking a lot lately. About myself. If I have another mind inside me, am I really me? <gasps> oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rambeau once wrote. I He is has a good point. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. Oh boy. Typical anime. 
You will learn the truth as you go. <laughs> hey, so... About my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. Okay, about AI? Hey, what does love mean to oh, you? Oh, I? Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. Huh. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? <laughs> like a pun? I'm right, aren't I? <laughs> dork. That hurts, you know. I knew that one. Uh, so about Aiba? Hey, boss. Is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me. I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea, though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. So, hmm. I wonder, like... How did I miss my... I have so many questions. How did I lose my eyeball? And... This is a genius idea to have an artificial one in there. That's cool. I see myself as she sees me. Boss is looking at Aiba. Okay. Oops, sorry. I can't investigate them anymore. No! I can't look at them. Okay. So I guess uh, that's it, I think. There's something else I can do in this room, I don't think. Oh, whoa! I can see my neck move and stuff. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, God, look at my neck. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> it's a little trippy, yeah. I can't investigate them anymore. I can't, like, look at them. I've mostly just been talking to them, but... Um, I'll do it next time. Map. Matsushita Diner. Oh. Saturday, 10 to 18 a.m. Matsushita Diner. Is this in... This is in Japan, right? It must be. Oh, sorry. I didn't know I had a click. <laughs> We aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. I flashed my badge. Oh, heavens, no. I is my boy. I is Ota in trouble? Aww. Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some She's questions. She's so cute. She hurried out of the kitchen. And oh! You're Ota's... She has a cute kitchen eye! Right? And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. Sorry. Her Sorry. knife is so cute! That's such a cute kitchen knife. Mayumi put the kitchen or the knife down on the table to cider. Oh my god, look how small she is. <laughs> She's so cute! What the heck? Let me look. Ota's mother, Mayumi Matsushita. Oh. Okay, uh, I guess before I talk to you, let me investigate everything. Uh, window. Nothing but a window. Cat, lucky cat. Meow. Oh my god. What the hell? That scared me. Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Oh. Is that right? Meow. There we go. Now I have good luck. A bookshelf. It's got stickers on the side of it. A large jellyfish. <gasps> sure, it's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. The 
they do look like jellyfish. That's so cute. Disposable chopsticks. Table. Poster. A beer ad on the wall. She's cute. Oh. You have zero standards. <laughs> <laughs> I totally relate to Iowa so much. I swear, y'all have. <laughs> you have zero standards sometimes. You think that thing gets any channels? <laughs> Unlikely. I do not detect any tuners or antennas. Oh. How do you watch the TV up there in the corner? I would have to turn my back and look all the way in that corner like it, it would like it's sitting there like a security camera. <laughs> Menus. Oh. That's cool. Uh, autograph. That is the autograph of Iruka from Dark Zone Kalimas. Who? Hmm. Condiments. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Mm. It says Mayumi's black sauce. Maybe it's like squid ink. You know, I've, I've never tried this before, but I heard squid ink on, like, spaghetti is really good. But I've never tried it before. Neither of us can figure out what that sauce is. <laughs> there. Mm, kitchen knife. There's a kitchen knife on the table. Something is engraved on the handle. Which is... Zoom. Kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Oh. Mom, I love you always. Aww. Ota gave me that's, that knife for Mother's Day so when he was cute. in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. Aww. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Aww. It's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Aww, that's so cute. That's so adorable. It says... Oka-san. Itsumo arigato. <laughs> so cute! I hope I said that right. That's adorable. Is there anything else? Mm, can I look? It looks like Ota gave it to Mayumi for Mother's Day. Okay. Kid seat. Mm, cushion! This reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. <laughs> you reached pretty far back for that reference. What? <laughs> yeah, what? How is that a funny reference? Or like, how is that even founded in a funny prop compilation? Low table. Menu. Kuroda Kazuaki's cheek boiled in red wine. Let's hope that's not what it sounds like. What? Cheek? Okay. Uh... Calendar. That's just the calendar. <laughs> Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> The dot dot dot. Okay, mm fortune says good luck. Uh, lucky cat. They must be very lucky. Package. Do you want to see? Oh, it was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces what? Oda to buy them. I know it. Or wait, succubus? Is that what I think it is? Is it? Is it what I think it is? It's a cardboard box. There's a delivery slip attached to it. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. Does that say Azamon? Azamon. Cold JP? Amazon? <laughs> it says Amazon. Use the x ray mode. Oh. Yes, ma'am. X ray. I'm scared. <gasps> oh! Now, what is this? It's a figurine! A solid PVC model of a 
person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. Aset. <gasps> Allow me to investigate. Oh. A moment, please. What was that? What? A set. Uh, look. Zoom. Did I miss something? Slip. Solid model. Oh, okay. I think that was something I missed. Wait, no? Wait. <gasps> that wasn't it, guys. Hold on. What? What am I missing? <gasps> Wait! Flip! Wait... No? Wait... <laughs> what? Uh, maybe that was it? Oh, it was! Okay, apparently Slip showed up again for some reason. Okay. Um... Slippers... Swinging door... A swimming door. Swimming? A swinging door. Swimming. <laughs> uh, kitchen. I can see the kitchen area past the counter. Phone. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, oh my sorry. god. Gotta take this. Please never what do that again. Doing? That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> sorry. Just trying to lighten the mood. Oh my god. That scared me. I thought she was about to start something. Photo. Oh, can we zoom in? Ah, uh, who, who in the world? Family photo, huh? I can't tell what's Maybe going on on the left. When they were younger, the other person appears to be Ota's father. What? It looks like Ota and his mother and father. I cannot tell what the father's face looks like. I'm so confused. Where's his eyes and where's the mouth? And nose. I can't tell. What what is it? The square is his mustache? Wait. Huh? What the heck? Why is he why he look like that? <laughs> okay. Family photo, counter. Um, okay. Now... Nothing in here. Okay, I think I... Hold on, gotta check the ceiling. Gotta check everything. Nothing's playing on it. Oh, autograph. Some celebrity's autograph. Oh, something highlighted in green. What was that? Bucket! Does this remind you of your delinquent youth? Hey, now, don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Besides, I have no memory of my youth. I wouldn't know. Okay. Mop. Are they always gonna hide a mop in every room? Because I can never find the mop ever. <laughs> okay. Um. Do 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 I don't see anything else besides talking to the mom, so I'm just going to... Oh, clock! Hands off those hands! Oh, sorry. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Is this woman okay? <laughs> I'm certain, but she reminds me of you. <laughs> She's a little quirky, I will say. It's November, but the calendar says January. Looking closely at it, even the year is wrong. This is old. Oops. <laughs> I think you should get that checked, lady. Uh, alright. I think that's it. I think I got everything that I could. Just to make sure. Oh god, this is gonna... 
This is gonna ruin my... <laughs> oh, this is gonna trigger my OCD so bad because I want to make sure I clear the entire room. Uh, tell me about your restaurant. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband. But it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? Hmm? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. What? Huh? Why? Why? What was the point of that? How long have you been here? Oh, about 30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started. But back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. Hmm, true. Where's your husband? I think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Okay. As long as it's not suspicious. Is uh actually about the weather. The rain last night was pretty bad. You went to go that? get the milk, yeah. The rain? Oh right, yes. About Shelko. Brought out the picture of Shelko and showed it to Mayumi. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Doesn't hurt to try, I guess. Is Alta here? That boy. <laughs> he's been hanging out at this office building lately. <laughs> what kind of office? Oh. <laughs> what was it? Why is he it's looking a like a character selection? Irresponsible young men <laughs> hang out. Nonconformists and the like. <laughs> what? Like gangsters? Oh, heavens no. Nothing like that. I feel like I'm hovering over his character like and like I just picked him then... as a <laughs> fighter oh, in the game. I <laughs> it's a production <laughs> office, an entertainment company. Ooh. Okay, um, what's the name of the company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Why does Ulta hang out there? I was gonna say, because he's at the any color building. A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. <laughs> a witch, huh? <laughs> yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Oh. Makes him spend all his money on her. He's a simp. The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. Oh, I did. So is this witch working there? Yes. That good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Do you know her name? Oh my I'm gosh! It's not witch. Yes. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. Damn! Uh, I'm getting nowhere. Okay, she mother. She the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. <laughs> um, can you call him? Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? He doesn't have one? <laughs> he better not. Waste of money. <laughs> you can abandon this life. What do you mean, Plus waste of money? It. What if he's in trouble and Don't he can't call you, phone. huh? I found his number. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. Oh. That would be unsanitary as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Are we gonna go there? Date, I found some information about the figure. <gasps> Aset is the name of a popular female musician. 
That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. Oh. An Aset figure. Like an huh? alias name? Correct. Oh. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnus. Niji Sanji. Sorry. What? <laughs> I repeat, Lemnus Gate. Lemnus Gate? Renju owns that company. Oh. Correct. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemnus Gate ring a bell? Lemnus Gate? Oh, yes. That is such an interesting That's name. Where <laughs> Iba, bring the car around. At once. Yay, we can go. Time to go to Lemnus Gate. I think I know what Lemnus... Uh, what this building looks like. Because I think I saw it in a Lyra stream. Once. I remember. I th this is the part where she was at the reception desk, right? This must be. Saturday, 11.45 a.m. Whoa! Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? Oh! I showed him my badge. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? Uh oh. <laughs> uh. Okay, so far. So far, a sofa. Oh my god! So far, a sofa! It's a sofa! So far, it's a sofa! Wow! Laptop. Ulta's laptop. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? <laughs> if you can pay for the damages. <laughs> Damn it. I like how his... Everything that he wears, it just says geek. <laughs> um... Oto won't even look in my direction. He's just typing away on his laptop. I'll come back to you, because you might progress. Let's look around. Lots of magazines in the rack. Let's see. How to take a girl home in just two minutes. I think I'll take a look at that. <laughs> Lots of magazines. Uh, vending machine. Full of drinks. Door. There's probably an office back there. Monitor. Promotional videos of the agency's talents are playing. Nothing dirty, though. Whoa. This isn't that kind of company. High table. That is a high school. Oh. A high school? High school? No, Date. <laughs> That's a high school. Date, not high school. Date, look! Ants! Ew! Look at them go! Yay! Um... You need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. Eek! I can never be obsessed. Uh, okay... Mm, low table... Hey, Iva. What do you think would happen if I flipped this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. <gasps> yeah, you're probably right. Yes, I, won't. I mean, I could flip it and blame it on this guy. Easy. Window. Uh. I can't. Okay. Um. How about abstract painting? What is that supposed to be? I do not know. Incomprehensible painting hung up. I mean, to me, it looks like a... Like a geography map or something. That's what I think is what it is. Um... Logo. Lemon... Lem... Lemniscate. God, I'm never gonna be able to say that right. Uh, reception desk. That's the reception desk. Receptionist. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. I'm literally from here. <laughs> uh, there's a receptionist with huge breast. Huge breast. Breast. There. 
huge bag. <laughs> I can't. Fucking Dante, man. I can... Though, seriously, though, I can see her cleavage all the way from here. Like, sitting here and just looking at her, I can see it right here. Oh, my God. I hope I get to see her up close. Are you a fan of Aset? How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Dang, I thought he was gonna believe us. Um, could you look at me? No. I'm kinda busy right now. Oh yeah? Doing what? Wait, show us. What you typing? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Wow. Okay. What can you tell me about last night? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm? Oh, you have to look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. <gasps> do you have a warrant? What? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Oh my Unless god. Unless initiated by legal process, He did not just do it. No person actually? shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. <laughs> This is the type of kid I hate the most. <laughs> Punch him! Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Then what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. <gasps> Kick him! I told you to wait. <laughs> Waiting's just pissing me off more. <laughs> <laughs> what? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi Fi. <gasps> and? Disconnected! I was curious, so I hacked into it. <gasps> yes! Whoa! Wow, wow, wow! Twi to Witter! <laughs> to Witter! <laughs> That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. I can what? smell your virginity from Optical here, dude. <laughs> and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. Are you serious? This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet what? or false flagging. That's a this real thing? This guy has problems. This guy's m mentally ill. <laughs> he needs help. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Aset. Oh. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Two witter? Uh, uh, what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Imagine, you imagine for making several accounts Optical just to talk to yourself. Pongo, Pongo, and, and literally have like different personalities. Accounts. What? And talking to each How other like that. that. That is crazy. I told you, kid. I'm psychic. <laughs> now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. I hope he gets better. Because <laughs> right now, he's losing the points now. Uh, about... Uh, why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting well, about in this that? building. Ah, dang Tessa it. is recording a podcast today. It's Genshin Aether VA? Is it actually? Because I feel like I actually recognize it. I think I do hear his voice. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom? Oh! Y yes. Why yeah, he, he, is, he does sound like Aether English, I, um, VA. You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. <gasps> hey, everyone. Uh, this guy... <laughs> okay, okay. I'll talk. Just... Shh. 
<laughs> Get fucked. 24 years old. Kind of a loser. <laughs> um... Wait. High stool. Oh, I didn't click on that again. Okay. When did you start with the fake account? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But That's so cringe. It, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Oh my Don't god, I'm cringing. I'm cringing feelings, so hard. But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... I'm cringing. That's not the point. I'm cringing so hard. I'm sorry. Just... Uh... Don't do it, okay? Please never do this, guys, ever. Do not follow this guy's example. That is acts. That is exactly how to make that that person like dislike you. That is just. Ugh, it's triggering me. <laughs> I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? I know. Yes. That's just too much so work, guys. Just touch grass. A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? <gasps> Mizuki Okiyura? She's oh. the daughter of the president of Lemnus Gate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. How do you know Mizuki? She's just a friend. Yeah, she better be. <laughs> what? Why do you Yeah, care? she better be. Where and how did you two meet? She's 12. Um, here, the Lemnus Gate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day, and she just comes up like, Hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to call it? I like how he, Date just instantly starts becoming a dad. How do you know Mizuki? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. <gasps> really? What's your pen Oh, name? God. Odo in Kyoma. That is a lie. <laughs> the database searches reveal no professional <gasps> authors have ever submitted work under that name. Damn. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not a published author. His face. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads wait, my novels. Was that really a sky no reference? Her. From a sixth grader? I, I was like, wait, why does that sound familiar? Insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a really good Steins Gay reference. Wow. Oh, in Kyoma. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. Mm -hmm. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones Is that a rearranged version of Line? <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> she didn't tell me exactly, but... It said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. Yes? Oh. Mizuki was determined to go. <laughs> I was right. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? Oh. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. <gasps> Flashback! <laughs> <gasps> and he just ran like a pussy? <laughs> that was it? He literally just screamed and ran like a pussy? Did you leave her there? Did you leave her there? He's like you twice her age and he left herself? her. I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. <laughs> like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. <laughs> See, I knew you would make fun of me. 
This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? That's like... Suzuki would have told us everything. That's like kind of committing a crime if you don't would. say anything. Why wouldn't she? And you just let it be just to protect she your pride. She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, yeah. Why did she use a payphone? I tried using my cell phone at first. But it died? My heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. Ow! You dropped it? <gasps> yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Otis' phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. We gotta the go look for it. Been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Hmm. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? <gasps> Tessa! Tessa? me about what happened last night you mean a detective oh my gosh she's so cute wow, i've never met a real detective before <laughs> he's so stunned <laughs> date your adrenaline level is right <laughs> Something the matter? No, nothing. <laughs> he sees girl adrenaline boost. What? Mm -hmm. Something wrong? Uh, are you ASET? Let me confirm something. You're ASET, right? <laughs> Let's play a game. Shadows. Shadows. Um, thread. Silhouette. ASET. Fears. Uh, upset, regret, ASAT. What? Water. Wet, sweat, ASAT. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Yes, you bet. The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so confused, guys. How are they playing that? How do you play that game? ASAT, you bet? Play on words? A set you bet? I'm so confused. I don't understand. It's her calls? Oh. Oh wow. The words rhyme. <laughs> it's like her fan calls. Oh, that's so cute. I should make up one one of these days. I think that'd be really cute. Uh, how old are you? I turned 18 this year. Oh. Senior in high school? She's legal. Date, <laughs> I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, <laughs> I meant Ota. <laughs> Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? Uh, never in your life, kid. Don't bet on it. What's your relationship with Ota? Relationship? Her like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. Oh my god. You sound more like a super ah, simp behavior. Oh, always defends me when I'm getting fast online. Stop. You're making me blush. Oh god, I'm cringing. <laughs> Uh, your friends with Mizuki? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so... We hang out sometimes. Ah. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... Oh! Mizuki and I live under the same roof. But she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. 
I'm totally in the dark. So, Azuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Hmm. About the sock pup. Pet 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 to Witter. Wait! Uh oh. <laughs> Looks like you're my thrall now. <laughs> Isn't that right, Ota? <laughs> yeah, just be cool. You're my thrall now. Uh. About a set. Gee, Tessa. You always look so cute. <laughs> so, so cute. <laughs> so cute that I can't take it. <laughs> Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar. Oh, I can't. I can't. Help it. Her loving aura is in the air. <laughs> when I'm with her, I just my head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff. You know? You aren't even blinking. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. I never blink. Like, come on, I'm shy. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> I, do I never blink? Oh, are you... Are you a fan of mine? Uh. Okay, now I'm getting a little creeped out. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop staring now. Dot, dot, dot. I should stop staring at her. She'll think I'm crazy. Dang. Uh, about Shoko Nadami. I took out Shoko's photos from my pocket and showed it to Ota. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Mm. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Oh. Maybe because her last name is different. Yeah, that explains it. Adami and Okiura. Oh my god, they look like each it other. It's also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Oh. Interesting. Also, thank you for the super chats. Game is made by same author of Zero Escape series, by the way. <laughs> Laughing at the things you're saying while ENVA for Date's in chat. Wait, what? Wait, did I read that right? While ENVA for Date's in chat? Wait, what? This was earlier? He was here? Wait, what? He was here? I don't know what to say, guys. Um, um now my adrenaline is increasing right now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so honored. I didn't know. Ooh, I appreciate them for stopping by, though. I had no idea. I'm so glad, though. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. My neurons are firing. I became Ulta now. <laughs> and JP Dub, we say Aset Ochan? Aset Ochan. That's cute. On top of topic of VAs. <gasps> Iba is Venti, Boss is Beto. Ota is Aether, Mizuki is Paimon, and Asa is Xiangling. Oh, wow, there's so many Genshin VAs in this. For the Yen one. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. So many. We're leaving. Uh, did you talk to her about last night? Oh, um. I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park? He told me. Wow. Tessa? Really? Why didn't you come to the police? Yeah, what? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. Ew. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? That is so messed up. 
Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. This guy is messed oh. up. It's all over the internet. Uh. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. This guy's messed up. He's messed up in the head. Okay, we're we're leaving, I guess. There's nothing else around here. We're leaving. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? He said it sounds like Bao. Because I want to know more about what happened. <laughs> Do you have any suspects? Probably Doesn't Asa sound like Bao? Murderer, right? If she was like That's voice acting. Was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. <laughs> it sounds like Bao, and now I can't unsee it. <laughs> or I can't unhear it. Oh, it's a, take a video. Uh, just do it. <gasps> Mr. Date! Wait. Receptionist lady in that entire cutscene. <laughs> um, something wrong? No, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to sinking, part of the job. <laughs> You're so funny. Ota is staring daggers at me. <laughs> what are you doing? Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. <gasps> oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... <laughs> She's kind of a little bratty. Hold on. Wait, Alira said I could... I think you can keep talking to her. Can I? There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. Can I really just keep clicking on her? Huge breasts? That's later on? Oh. Breasts. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. Uh -huh. She really is quite the seductress. Oh. Wait. What does that mean? Asa has a rather inappropriate smile on her face given the circumstances. What? Are we gonna use her? Succubus. Oh my god, guys. His mom was right. His mom was right the entire time. <laughs> She is a succubus. I'm scared. Why are we going with her? We're just gonna bring innocent people. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! I'm driving! Uh, about Mizuki. We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. 
Oh. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Oh my god, I actually called her a bitch for a second. I was about to, like, throw hands. <laughs> Do you have any questions for me? Questions. Questions. Ah, what's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm-hmm. But... You are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what oh. unit are you in? What indeed? <laughs> you aren't gonna tell me? Please! You're just gonna cliffhanger her? What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. Wow! Whoa, hold up now. Well then, tell me! Blackmail? Bruh. Why did you become an idol? Well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous, get on TV, be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs. Dances. Oh my god, VTuber! And stuff on stream. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge Wait. is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. Wait, that sounds familiar. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular Wait. yet. Wait! I can only get on TV as a background <laughs> singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. That was a reference to Minecraft? Wow. How did you start working for Lemniscate? Lemniscate. Well, at first, all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but... I started getting pretty big. Whoa. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Hmm. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. Oh. Friend Nepotism. Yeah. So I asked him for advice one Nepotism. day. Nepotism! You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at That's all. That's kind of true, though. Anyway, one day... Just because they're an office see him at doesn't office. mean that they're and not sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> um, about Ota. Why do you ask? You two are very close, for an idol and a fan. Ota is... special. He really is like... a Ew. hero to me. Hero, huh? What does that mean? How you is know, he special? Now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be Tier in three too. sub. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. <gasps> what? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. <laughs> Just kidding! Bitch! I hope so. I hope that was a joke! Anyway. I'm not going down without a fight. Wow. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. Really? I can't believe she did that to us. Look. Um, Mr. Date, shouldn't you keep your eyes on the road? Don't worry about it. I'm a professional. <laughs> and then once he... <laughs> once he does it again, we crash. Sitting in the passenger seat. About my department. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date! Oh. I don't have a choice. Yes, you do. What's Abyss? Just break her phone. Advanced Brain Investigation also, Squad. Also, why can't Iba just Public hack into her phone it. and just delete it? Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. She was able to hack I the internet. I won't. I swear <laughs> to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Uh, ask for her real name. By the way, I didn't oh, it's in name. the cloud. Oh, that's you right. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris, Iris Sagan. 
Sign on these nuts. Weird, right? <laughs> Sorry, it was really perfect. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as, as you, you can. can. Wow. Mm hmm Something wrong? No. It's nothing. I haven't... I haven't said that in such a long time. I used to do that with, like, little kids all the time. The, the little patty cake thing. <laughs> Saturday, 1, 12 p.m. Wow, so much happened in such little time. Excuse me. You Konami Date? That's right. Actually, I'm Kagami Date. <laughs> and the girl? <laughs> uh... She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. Oh my gosh. We've got business here. She does oh, the same okay. thing I do. Yep, yep. <laughs> Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed onto the scene. I'm scared. She's very suspicious. A local cop. Bottom sky is clear and blue. Air is clear and cold. Roof of the merry-go-round. There's a hole in it now from all the years of weathering. Column. Last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? Um. It's a control is that room. A phone booth? No, it's the control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. Hmm. There is a fence around the merry-go-round. Uh, aerosol. Mr. Date, that horse. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. Hmm. I don't know if it was a joke. I feel like there's something deeper behind this whole thing, maybe. I wonder how many couples sat there. It makes me kind of angry for some reason. I would burn all those damn benches if I could. Oh my Where god! Where is this anger coming from? Is it because you, you don't have a wifey? I'll, uh, oh, how's the investigation going? Or coming? Yeah, it's not looking too great. We searched all over here, but we didn't find nothing. Hmm. Caution tape. Kawasaki District buildings in the distance. Uh, we're in for another cold fall. Okay. Local cop. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm gonna talk to Iris last, but... Oh, hold on. Metal pole. Uh, uh, uh. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Date. What? You wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? Bruh. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I literally just clicked on this pole, okay, lady? Chillax. Calm your titties. Uh... Control but Hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. How old are you making that reference? What? I suspect that she did not give you her real age, <gasps> knowing what a phone booth is. Wait, what? So she's not actually 18? Superman reference. Oh! Oh my gosh! That's so funny! A panda ride. The type that you put a coin a in. black and white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. Oh. Wait. Wait! Monokuma! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad they made that reference. There's the fierce wheel. This reminds me of the giant eye staring down. Oh, you're right. Huh. It's punishment time! <laughs> oh my god, guys, don't don't open up my rabbit hole. 
No, we can't be talking about Danganronpa, guys. I will not shut up about that game. <laughs> like, I'm the, sh I'm the type of person that literally went and watched everything in order and shit. I watched the anime the proper way. Like, I switched between two animes, watching each episode one by one. And it was crazy. Okay, I think I clicked everything, so I'm just gonna go talk to her, I guess. Um... You're wasting your time. Hey, Iris. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. B3 best. Iba? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I could agree. I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she in front of my... my eyes? Huh? Um... Have you been here before? When I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. Oh. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. Oh, jeez. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. Oh. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. Yeah. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Oh. Are they... okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps <clears throat> the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. Mm. Uh, what are you doing? I was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures <laughs> going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? I do. Oh? Well, let's hear it. Wait. She's cooking. Um, why do you think this was a ritual murder? The horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? What are you talking about? Oh. You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and oh, sun. Oh, yeah. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. <gasps> the left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. What? It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. How the heck does she know the all eye that? Of Providence. The all seeing eye. Oh, I see. Holy crap. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Starting to see the picture? The Illuminati! Not really. It's confirmed. Why do you think this... Uh, yeah. I remember Ota describing the scene. Mm -hmm. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Oh. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Wait, yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. <gasps> if Ota's telling the truth, he would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Wait a minute. 
Oh. <gasps> she took it out. Uh oh. That's this is not doing very well for her. Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. Zoom. Shoko's corpse was tied up here. Hmm? Wait a second. Aiba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Yeah, it's all clean. Agreed. Right? But there isn't a single drop on the horse. <gasps> and it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off. What? That must mean... Must mean what? No, we must look. There was no blood on the horse. That must mean... That must mean... I don't know... Maybe look... Uh... Actually, maybe it's Iris. Wait... <laughs> Wait... Oh, okay, the horse is not interactable anymore. So then... Other than that... That's it. Huh? That's so weird. There's so many conclusions I can draw from that. Um, okay, so... I think that's it, guys. I think I clicked everything. Hopefully... Hopefully I did. We should go. Oops. Sorry. Oh, come on! Just a little longer. No. I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay... Yes... <gasps> hey! You alright? Are What's you happening? okay? Morning sickness... What? What? I'm kidding... It's not like I would know... Br bruh... Get on... I'll give you a ride home... Yes, score. Take it back, ride. I wish I was her Just right now. but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? <laughs> 105 pounds. What? I see. 105. Oh my huh? god! You can tell just by lifting. That's so light. Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Oh my god! I wish I was her. I wish I was her. <laughs> how many kilograms? I don't know how to convert. <laughs> I have no idea. Somebody Google it. Uh, wheel. Oh, dashboard. Uh, oh wait. You know, I'm feeling kind of bored. Seriously? Bruh. We're in a car ride. There's nothing else you can do. Center console. Dashboard. Uh, glove box. You know how stuff always gets beat up when you put it in here? Don't you wish they could make these things a little nicer? Dashboard? Oh. <laughs> I just realized, guys. I just realized. Okay. Um... Look. She seems to be doing okay. How are you feeling? Oh, uh... Horrible! Shame. Bruh. Oh! You should worry about me more! <laughs> Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> what, what if she... I threw up right here? I would put it right back where it came from. <gasps> Ew! That makes me actually want to throw up. <laughs> Why is she asking all like the girlfriend type of questions? Like, would you, would you still like me if I was like a, like a ugly worm or something like that? Like, <laughs> she's like asking all those questions. No, 
but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, humidity 60%. Dang, that's hot. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Hey, Date. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. Even though she's joking it's about like that... I've met you before. I feel like this is a foreshadow. Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now... <laughs> okay, okay. I'm way too scared to stick my hand out going nice. that fast. I'm scared it'll get cut off. Sagon. Sagon! Resident Saturday, 3.09 p.m. Sagon, these. You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Ooh, going home already. <laughs> I said my goodbyes, then turned to leave. But out of the corner of my eye... <gasps> Whoa. Wait. What? Oh. Who is this, Iris? Wait! I felt my body freeze. Because that woman... She's... Yeah, she was the woman on the ground! Shot! <gasps> Wait... No, it can't be, it can't be. I felt like my mind and body were being torn in opposite directions. As I stood there, stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. Oh... Why? I'm confused. You... You're... Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Oh. It's Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date, from the MPD. Police? <laughs> are you a detective? <laughs> She's no, single? Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. Uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Hmm. After an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea on a tray. She put everything down on the table and sat down on the sofa. Wait! This is the house we're in. <gasps> the lights are off. And there's a cable switch here. A bookshelf. There are no books on it, but definitely a bookshelf. I saw it in a catalog before, so I know. Mysterious object. There's a calendar and strange object on the shelf. It reminds me of a kind of angel. What is that object? There's a tabletop calendar and a mysterious object on the shelf. Okay. A clock. A wooden shelf. It's a shoebox. Wonder what they smell like. You are beyond. Oh. <laughs> hey, these thoughts are private, okay? This guy's a fellow, fellow feet smeller. <laughs> Entrance. Okay. Um. Let's see. Anything here? Cupboard. Lots of dishes. That's a pretty cupboard. Wish I had something fancy like that. A refrigerator. Date, a riddle. <gasps> How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? What? The solution is this. You open the door, put the giraffe in, and close the door. What? What kind of a riddle is that? Another riddle. How do you put an elephant in the what? refrigerator? Isn't it the same answer? 
open the door, put it in, close the door. Incorrect. The giraffe is already inside. <laughs> you must remove the giraffe before you put the elephant inside. <laughs> That's the solution. Wow. Your riddles could use some work. That's so big brain. <laughs> I did not get that at all. I didn't know where it was leading to. Uh, alright. Let's see. Kitchen counter. I can't see them from here, but there's probably a sink and stove on the other side. That's a kitchen counter. Dining table. You could sit here and ask the spirits what they think. It's not a divining table. <laughs> Um, window. Trees and sky outside. Workbooks. Elementary workbooks on the table. But looking closely, one in the middle is different. Osagami Sumo Wrestler Directory. Osagami Sumo? Hmm. Wrestling Almanac. Uh, tea. <gasps> Ooh, that looks so good. Feet? Her feet are out! The dogs are out! I've seen that cushion somewhere before. No, not this cushion. I saw this entire room in my dream last night. Is there a problem, Date? No, it's nothing. Wow. Flowers. It's an iris. <gasps> an iris? Oh! I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. It's after her. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It means good news and hope. Um, okay. Phone. Telephone in the corner. Uh, picture. Whoa. There's a drawing on the wall. I wonder if Iris drew this when she was younger. Why does that look kind of creepy? And what are they covered with? What is that on their heads? And what are they covered with? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just looks like... I don't know. Mud? There's a door in the back of the room. Hmm. A ceiling fan is fitting. Lighting. Oh. I can see a plant in the corner. No insects, unfortunately. Sorry, Aiba. Plant. Speaker system. Two speakers and a console. Two speakers and a long, thin box in the middle. <laughs> it's like... You know. Mr. Date? What are what? you staring at? Your sound system. My sound system? Uh, what about it? I was just admiring it. I wish I had one that big. Right. I got an achievement called I Wish Mine Were That Glorious. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay. That seems to be it here. I think. Let me just make sure. Uh... Nothing on the floor? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay. Um... I don't see anything else. Not that I'm aware of. Uh... Wait, microwave! Iva, let me know if you're cold. I'll pop you in there and warm you up. Oh! I would suggest putting your heart in there first. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna... That's not what you think it is for warming up. You could die in there. Um... Iris. You look chipper. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? Hmm. There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah? Mm -hmm. What about them? <laughs> what? You, you gonna elaborate? 
Iris was hinting about the flowers blooming behind her. Yeah? You were saying? Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, <laughs> what? <right. laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. Oh. Wait, I wasn't ready. I still had a lot of, a lot of questions. Are you left-handed? Oh. Uh, hmm. Mom used to be right-handed. Oh. But now... Hmm. Oh. Is it... Not working? It locked up on me. <gasps> oh, oh, no! I see. Aw, so that's why it's just like laying there limp. Um... They seem to be doing well now. Yeah, thanks to you. I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! <laughs> Rawr, XD. How am I supposed to react to that? <laughs> Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. <laughs> Rawr! How long have you been living here? Since I was born. And Mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you mm. considering moving? Well, because there was... Well, uh, I don't know. Huh? Hmm? Uh, why are everyone just leaving me by cliffhangers? Okay, I probably have to inspect the flowers. Let me see. Wait, what? Hinting about the flowers blooming behind her. I'm confused. Maybe I have to talk to her, the mom. Where do you work? I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher? Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. Oh. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each oh. other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. <laughs> Is a mother? Check. Is a teacher? Check. <laughs> I... I agree. May I ask how old you are? I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is 18? Oh. Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes. Wow. Just 19 years old. What about your husband? Uh, uh, I don't have one. Oh. Divorce? Mr. Date, please. Awkward. It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. A oh. single mother. Oh. Yes. Oh, that explains it. Oh. Must be. Must be. Must have been a very tough situation, for sure. Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, <laughs> she and is then again single. just a few months ago. <laughs> You're right. You he can still go for it. No reason. He can still go for it. He still has a chance. Goodbye. Uh... Let's just make sure before we go. Okay. Um... I think we got everything in the house. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. Hopefully. If I did, I'm sorry. But probably was just... A minor detail. So... Goodbye. Well... I think it's time for me to be heading home. I stood and headed for the door. Iris and he told me you stood politely. Mr. Dante, we'll see each other again, right? You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. 
But because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. Hmm. She is kind of like my roommate after all. What? Anyway, be seeing you. The most robotic handshake ever. Oh. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. I should head home. Awkward. All right. Take care, Date. Oh god. God damn Adate. You know, I've seen like a video that like was similar to what just happened. You know how when Date held out his, you know, right hand and whatnot? Date. It reminded me of a video of I saw where this guy was trying to ha like he was trying to high five a girl but she she didn't have like any arms. And it was awkward. Very awkward. Uh, let's hear the timeline of events. Iba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. Whoa. Friday yesterday. Okay. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Uh, Probably the culprit themselves. Uh -huh. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Mm. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Iba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. Mm. Dashboard. Dashboard. <laughs> Dashboard. I was fitted into the center of the wheel. Oh, I just noticed that. Oh, that's why I could look there. She's charging right now. She doesn't have a built-in generator. That means I have to charge her sometimes. Ah. Uh, in that case, there might be a time where we probably will... ...see Aiba when she's not charged. Or her battery will die out. Okay, so passenger seat. It's empty. Okay... Myself. Allow me to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. <laughs> Perhaps he's had too much medication. <laughs> Focus. You got this. Oh. Don't push yourself, Date. No, I'm fine, Date. <laughs> you do not appear to be fine. <laughs> play game. Hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. Mm -hmm. I Spy something round. My eyeball. Correct. I win. Wow. I will terminate you. <laughs> now, who is this handsome gentleman? Oh, it's me. <laughs> I can see myself through Aiba. Okay, um... Aiba... About the blood stains. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else, and then brought there to be displayed. Hmm... That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Mm -hmm. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. <laughs> if there's even the slightest possibility. I mean, yeah, she. There's this gotta be mates. something more to it. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. You don't know that. But we can just assume. <laughs> The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. Mm. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. Hmm... I'm trying to suspect, like, the most n non-suspectable people. Like, I feel like... 
I don't know. This must have been done by someone who we are doubting right now. Is what I'm thinking. I'm not sure. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. Hmm. Is there more? The corpse was found with her left eye removed. Oh. That eyeball has yet to be found. I, I don't know testimony. why, but I also when kind Oza of like think the body, or uh, the well, I don't really know if I trust eye the idol girl. She's the most suspicious so to me, and the, the fact that she knew so she well what the reference the of this murder case was, like the whole cultist thing was kind of suspicious. Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> Anything on your mind? Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again. And I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? Hmm... I have no idea. That is a good question. How did the body get there in the first place? Unless... Hmm. No, I can't think of anything. <laughs> Police headquarters, Saturday, 4.26 p.m. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. <gasps> is it Mizuki? Oh, yay! Mizuki. Music you kind of looks like Alira. No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. Oh. It's time. <gasps> Whoa! Are we gonna link our minds together? <gasps> He's typing. Um, boss is watching Mizuki through the glass. That's Peter. His real name is... Um... Amanoma. But he goes by Peter here. 36 years old. He's a member of Avis like me. He's a genius engineer that designed the sync system and other machines. He also invented Aiba. He's her caretaker in a way. Strange strings of characters and figures scroll across the monitor. Um... Hmm... Oops. Uh, let's see. Binder. Full of papers. It looks like the manual for the sink machine. Mizuki is lying in the sink machine on the other side of the glass. There's an enormous machine beyond the window. This machine is known as the sink machine. Okay. Chair! I like how they have dialogue just for chairs. There's something on the monitor. Oh. oh, that's a lot. Locker. Searching. Classic. Alternative. Progressive. That's rock. Rock. The rock? Dwayne Johnson? The exit. Still set shelf. I opened it up. It was completely packed with books. Huh? They're all homoerotic BL manga and gay romance novels. Interesting, Pewter. Interesting. Wait! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my gosh! Pewter? He's just like 
me for real? <laughs> I was about to say! That's literally just Alira. Oh my gosh! It's your team monitor. Dante, look! <laughs> it's the girl from that horror movie. Coming out of the well. Oh heck no. What the hell are you talking about? Not Sadako. Stop! No! Please! I must stop! No! <laughs> I can't. My heart can't take it. Long table. Interesting. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional wrestling. Pile drivers. Now where on earth did you learn that? <laughs> oh, right. R wrestling, wrestling pile drivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are various things on the table. Uh, okay. Locker. Okay, I think I got everything here. Uh, let's see what's on this side. Uh, nothing, nothing. Door. Door to the sink room. Okay. Nothing here. No. Okay, I think I got everything in the room so far. I just have to start talking to people now. Any progress in the investigation? You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sink with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? Hmm. Isn't it so weird how she doesn't want to speak, but... she is willing to go through this whole thing? Did you get Renju's Renju permission? Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... Hmm? I don't know. That is a little suspicious. Are you sure you want to do this? If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Mm. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. Mm. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sink with her. I see. You're the only one who can. Pewter, about Aiba. Hey, Pewter, about Aiba. Could you do something about her personality? Do something what? about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike. If you dare, <laughs> I will self-destruct in your eye socket. Huh, <laughs> so you were listening, huh? She's only 12. You sure this is okay? She's so brave. <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. Are you ready? We are ready to begin. Date, go to the sink room. I'm not Got ready it. yet. Wait! No! No! Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. I wasn't ready! Her heart rate is rising in her. Brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. I wish I knew. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. Honestly, just thought he was just asking him. How do I do that? <laughs> I didn't know that I was it's gonna go that forward. To you. But she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. Okay. Um. So here's what's going to happen. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that. We will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. Hmm. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Uh... About... The sink here. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side thing. effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. 
I'm really scared to see what she saw. It must have really traumatized her. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnia. It's Latin for dream. Oh. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. Oh, so he's not the only one. There's other people. Interesting. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. Mm. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. Best. There are a billion oh. kinds of suspects and persons <laughs> of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything. People that have head injuries or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Mm. Our job is to find it. When this is all over. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? Hmm. Aww. Let's go get some of that stew you like. I guess, since this is referring to something she likes, I don't know if she likes sushi, ramen, or unagi. Oh, but I really do like these options, though. Oh! Oh, I'm so hungry. Let's just get some of the stew you like. Hey. Remember when we went last time? You were laughing about how it looked like throw up? <laughs> it tasted so good. <laughs> you were devouring it. It looked I kept like throw it looked up. Awful, but you loved it. Do you not have a more heartwarming story? <laughs> or... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. Date, her heart rate is steady. That's funny. EEG is stable. EEG? Date, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and special agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. A new feature? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Mm. Sure, got it. I see. Oh, we're sinking. Does this game have multiple endings? I probably should have asked Got this it. from the beginning. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't Ready know if like time. any of my choices or dialogue Remember, choices Dante, affect the you ending. Have only six minutes in the Somnium world. Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. We're counting on you. You have to play all of them regardless? Well, then, oh, okay. Begin. I'll figure it out as we go. Main gustato! <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about right now. Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Aiba! <gasps> Man, she is so pretty. Her face. She has, like, one of the best looking faces here. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is this Bloom Park? Oh! Like a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information, Terminator you, reference. You will have to deal with I actually have never seen Terminator before. Move fast. I just like know a couple things. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around. But I've never seen it. <laughs> this is the new feature of Sync that Peter mentioned. I know, you I know. I need time. to watch it. Only when standing still. <laughs> 
Time is moving incredibly slowly. Maybe I'll do it as a member watch you and I are transmitting information at high speed. <laughs> so it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. <laughs> Somnium scan! Activate! Activate. Wow. I'm getting flashbanged left and right. <laughs> Sometimes it's like super dark and warm, and other times I'm just getting flashbanged with white lights everywhere. Heal Mizuki's heart. Mizuki is mute. By healing her mental wounds, you may be able to get important info. To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Mm -hmm. An ice pick piercing <gasps> Shoko's photograph. Oh, God. Why is it freaking out? Iba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. Oh. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. Six minute time limit? Time is expended whenever Aiba is moving or performing an action. Pay attention to the remaining time left in the upper right screen. Unlock all mental locks within the 360 second time limit. An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. Push in, pull out. Pull out. Wait. Oh no. Right. No one would want to see their mother like this. Oh no. <gasps> Whoa! What it, the heck? What is this? Whoa! Everything's lifting up. Checkpoint save! Yay! Redirected the lightning with the lightning rod. The pillar became a lightning rod. <gasps> it looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Oh. Our next step must be to remove it. So this is like all puzzles and stuff. That's cool. To be I, at first, I was we a little a confused. Timing. I was like, "Wait, timing? this isn't like timing something that actually happened, right?" <laughs> you can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time in Somnium. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream, and because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got hmm. it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. Okay. Timey? Timeys are items that affect time. You will sometimes obtain them when you perform an action. Timeys only affect the time taken to perform an action. You are able only able to hold three timeys. Picking up a timey when you already hold three will replace one. Timeys are expended after one use, but use them as often as you can. Okay. Uh, remove the birdcage? Oh god, what is happening? Ah! Blow the birdcages away! Ah! An enormous birdcage. Lift, slip through. Um, I don't know. That sounds a little dangerous, doesn't it? Why don't we... Lift? Understood. Maybe? I didn't think we could slip through either, but... Oh, it work. <laughs> maybe we should try going here first, maybe. Control room. The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. Mm, open! 
What is your plan once I am inside? A high FPS monitor? Oh, maybe. Maybe we can do something. I don't have V-Sync on. I do not Should think I put that on? That easy. Just try it. Didn't expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's mm. something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Oh. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. I see balloons, and one of them looks like. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. Why? Oh, no, no, no. bird cage. Freak. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. I can't even have time to think. Um. Mm, peek inside. Let's see. What is it? It looks like a picture of something. <gasps> picture. Well, do we get to see? A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of. Um. Oh shoot! No, no, no! Hold on. Let me look inside this one first. A bird cage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Could you please not call it a rubber? <laughs> you can say balloon. <laughs> I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Please. God. You can sign. There are a number of balloons inside. Looks like they'd fly away if you lifted the cage. What would that accomplish? I don't know. Dream worlds are unpredictable. Oh. Cause and effect are screwed up here. Well, could be a something. What if we lift it? Wait. Timmy, timey will not be used. Proceed. Oh wait, no. Hold on. How do I use them? How do I use the timey? Make time. Oh, time to 30. Oh, like making it the smallest? Um, let me see. Oh, and then if I click lift, this will be easy. Glad to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy. <gasps> what? But it was so heavy. <gasps> yes. Blew away the cage. Oh. Nothing happened. Oh? What is this? It's a rubber. <laughs> Retry will allow you to return a save point just after unlocking a mental lock. But you only have three retries. Going back one lock costs one. Going back two costs two. Going back three costs all three. You regain your three retries by re selecting restart from the menu or by failing the sink. This is likely your best option if time is low. Okay. A deflated rubber. I told you, please call it a balloon. <laughs> what are you getting so worked up about? Um... Blow up! Oh wait. Understood. I meant to use a timey. <laughs> Oops. I'm scared. I hope this is not the wrong decision. It's huge. I wish your boobs were that big. What? Are you serious? Those are obscenely Bruh! large for a human. <laughs> well, I suppose I am not Date! technically human. So... Date, please. Be quiet. <laughs> This guy! I freaking can't! You were able to get out? Oh! Perhaps the balloon was the key. Oh! I remember now a story I heard from Mizuki a while back. One time when Mizuki was just a little girl, Shoko bought her a balloon. It was one of the nice helium ones. But the string slipped through her hand. The balloon sailed up into the sky. Shoko snapped, and she scolded Mizuki for hours. Maybe that's why. 
Izuki put the balloons inside the birdcage. That way, they could never fly away again. But I guess Aiba and I made her relive a painful memory. Alright, now that the birdcage is off, let's get Mizuki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? If you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Stop Mizuki's tears. You've got four minutes. This appears to be the microphone for the speaker. Um. I guess shout. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it already. I didn't do anything. I'm oh shoot. Threaten. Listen up, miscreant. I know you're hiding in there. <laughs> Throw down your weapon and come out with your hands up. Happened. Nothing. Your parents would be very disappointed in you. You can fix this. You have so much to live for. You can't give up hope now. You're having fun, aren't you? Wow, that was it. Alright, then I guess. Um, uh oh. Panda! Panda head! The panda is... floating. Um... What if we wear it? Or... Yeah, wear it! Wear it? Like this? <laughs> She's just floating. Oh, Unknown. <laughs> I guess that was a waste of time. Dang! It was kind of fun. Though. It was fun, yeah. Dang it. Okay. Panda is. Um, use a. How about you? Slap it down. I don't know. I see it. The view from the top. <gasps> oh. Well, that was pointless. <laughs> Well, you know, I tried, okay? I just wanted to know what it would do. Alright. Uh oh. What is this? Merry go rounds can fly? Date, over there. Did I do it? <gasps> Iris. <gasps> Why? Iris. Why is Iris? Oh, her back! She appears to be frozen. What the hell is going on? <coughs> what is this? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? Here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you weren't here, everything would be fine. I'm sorry. Apologizing means nothing. Say something. Don't make me into the bad guy. But what's that look, huh? Wow. It's all your fault. You. You. I wish you had never been born. Oh my God! The voice. The other voice is likely. Damn. Oh. What's going on here? That's fucked up. Iba, look out! What? <gasps> it's 
coming back down? Oh god! I was about to become a pancake. Good thing this isn't a bed and breakfast. <laughs> that frozen iris does intrigue me. But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry-go-round is stopped. Oh my god. If you choose the correct answer as your final action, you can actually exceed the 360 second time limit? Even if it seems like you don't have a lot of time left, don't give up. You might be able to do it. Here is sleep talking. Hmm. More than one second. When you clear, you get the... You get a prize? Zzz. No. Boss. Anything but that. Zzz. Okay, let's go. But first, hold on. A merry-go-round horse. Spank? <laughs> um... Uh... Um... Spank? I kinda wanna see it, though. <laughs> I really wanna see the spank. <laughs> yeah! That's not spanking! That's punching! You punched it? Nothing is happening. Poor horse. <laughs> <laughs> that was not spanking! Oh, you have horse. less than two minutes. Hurry! Oh my god, I can't believe I just wasted time on that. Right. <laughs> is it fun? <laughs> Does it look fun? <laughs> what is she doing? Oh, I see. Okay, um... So, I guess... I don't know if that's doing anything. Oh god, I'm so scared. It's Mizuki. The time is running out, guys. Um... Oh no. Speak kindly. Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. So, it's all right now. Hey. Do you think we can use that speaker? Maybe she needs to hear her mother's voice. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mom loves you. Is that... a phone ringing? Where... where's it coming from? Date, don't! You can't stay any longer! <gasps> no, I still got some seconds on me! Oh! Oh, I did it! Healed Mizuki with Shoko's voice. <gasps> Yay! Wait, so we did it? Did I choose right? Did I pick... Did I pick it? The right one? Oh, wow! Were th I don't know if, like, the different options are, like... I didn't know if, like... One was better or whatever. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Trust the process? Are you okay? Okay. Mizuki. <gasps> she hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. 
Uh oh. Did we do it wrong? Or is this part of it? Iba, call Iris's phone. It's urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. Uh oh. Hello? This is Konami Tate from the MPD. I met you earlier today. Oh, Tate! Is something wrong? Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? <laughs> okay. But if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? No. Then go on a date with me. A Bruh. date? If you promise me we'll go on a date, I'll stay home and not say a peep. If you don't promise me, then... I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. <sighs> All right. Understood. Understood? <laughs> Great. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. This Fine. girl. Just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya. She is such what a weird that? girl. <laughs> it's nothing. Oh my gosh. Did I? Oh, I'm so confused, guys. I don't know if I did it right. I don't know if this is scripted. I can't tell. <gasps> Ooh, ah, I'm so confused. About Iris's body. Mizuki, I saw something strange in your dream. Iris, she was frozen. She was dead. What was that? Tell me, Mizuki, mm. please. Date, there is no point attempting to speak with her. Mizuki's aphonia has not healed. Hmm. Are you okay? She didn't answer. About the ringtone I heard insomnia. Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. In your dream world, I heard a phone ring. Did you hear that somewhere? Or did you just imagine it? Date, there's no point talking to her. You couldn't heal her. Her symptoms haven't improved. She'll be sent back to the hospital. Maybe the doctors can help her. Hmm. I couldn't help Mizuki get her voice back. She's sitting on the chair. She looks strained. Like an abandoned doll. About the Nile message. Mizuki, I have to ask you. You got a Nile message yesterday. And then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was wiped. Mm -hmm. I am trying to identify the sender now, but it will take some time. Hmm. About the ice pick. Mizuki. When we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the ice pick. I'm not accusing you of anything. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. Answer me, Mizuki. Date, please. Maybe a little Going bit. At her is counterproductive. A little bit too much, Date. Damn it. Um. Okay. Let's let's um. Oh, locker. Hey, Date. Remember that time you were blackout drunk? You thought that locker was a urinal? Oh my Please god. Don't remind me. <laughs> I hope it's clean now. Locker in the corner. Okay. Different strings of characters. Monitors off. Um You can see the sink machine through the window. Computer. Uh about Somnium. In a normal dream. The person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. 
But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Hmm. I see. About the ringtone I heard in Somnium. I know about the ringtone you heard, but I oh? couldn't tell where it was coming from. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Or was it just a dream? Or her imagination? That's what I'm I trying think it's to real. find out. Can you analyze Wait, the sound or something? What if it's Unfortunately um, not. Ota's phone? Remember? He, he dropped it. Prophetic dreams. Ah, the corpse you saw in Somnium. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's see. As a man of science, I don't believe in such things. Prophecies and the like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of metal plate. Huh? Mm -hmm. You saw her. She was stabbed countless times in the back. <gasps> she could have used some stab-proof armor or what something. What if she's not real? What if she's actually a <laughs> robot? <laughs> Just uh, indulging in an fancy AI and real robot. Life prophecies. <laughs> Don't mind me. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. True. You see? Get it, guys? Because AI saw me in files. <gasps> I'm on to something. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying bullshit. I actually don't know. Today is Saturday. No reaction drama should be broadcasting soon. First, no, it won't. Second, that's not even a TV. <laughs> yeah, it's a security camera, right? A metal shelf. Um, long table. This brings me back. What? Date and I used to make love on this table. What? We did not. We just poured salmon roe and seaweed salad all over each other. <laughs> that sounds even more kinky. Wow. <laughs> Up, pewter. <laughs> pewter, hold up. Oh my god. Pewter's got something, some crazy imaginations in his head. There are pictures of macho looking men in lo loincloths with roses in their mouths. Okay. Wait, is that a reference? I think that was a reference. Many objects are scattered on the table. Uh okay. Um, blah, 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 I think I talked. Oh, hold on. Okay. Now it's just the boss lady. Mm, do you believe in prophetic dreams? Where is this coming from? Oh, I see. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki Samium. Her name is Iris Sagan. The girl you went to Bloom Park with today. How do you know that? Iba told me. It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation reports. Huh. <sighs> uh, about Mizuki's aphonia. What's aphonia? It didn't go well. But it's not all bad. The sink wasn't a total waste of time. We found clues. Clues? Right. Um, about the ringtone. Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki's Somnium. I know. Oh, a phony is but like... I couldn't tell where it was coming Inability from. to speak? Yeah. Oh, I see. I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... Then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Otas! Did CSI report anything like that? No, nothing. They searched the site, but didn't find a single thing. Mm, about what I saw. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. 
What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. <laughs> so we know about everything. Good for you. <laughs> the phone, the frozen corpse. Uh, about prophetic dreams. Prophecies, huh? That's why you called Iris. But, Date, come on. I know, a dream is just a dream. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily have anything to do with reality. But Amy. still, I just have this gut feeling. Mm -hmm. Date, are you alright? Perhaps the sink is causing negative side effects. Mm. I hope I, that's all it is. I doubt it. I think he's on to something. Also, let me fix something real quick. Oh. Oh, I forgot about saving. Oh. <gasps> it's a good thing I did that. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, shoot. I totally forgot. Uh, let me fix the V-Sync issue real quick. So I'm gonna turn up the voices a bit. Allow me to assist you. Um... Now, let's do... Oh wait, am I not able to turn it on here? I might have to relaunch the game to do that. Yeah... I figured. Okay, never mind. I guess I'll, uh... Next time when I boot it up, I'll fix it. Um... Case... What is this? Files... Info... Album photo. Oh. Dante. Oh. He's 30. Oh, wow. Classic cars, curry, bonito, pelvises. Deca. Soft boil eggs, punk kids, ghost. Collects vintage magazines. Reaction time increases 3.6 times under certain conditions. Uh... Okay. Interesting. August 3rd. <laughs> um... Alright, let's go to Iris. There's no, like, spoilers in these, right, guys? I just need to make sure. Iris Sagan. 18... October 26th. High school senior slash internet idol. Singing, dancing, the occult. Right, irises and Mizuki. Uh, scary people. <laughs> Runs extremely fast. Oh. It updates based on your progression, so no. Oh, thank God. I'm glad. Mother. 37. Children. Okonomiyaki! Ooh, yes! Anti-social people! She hates us, guys! <laughs> she dislikes us! Uh, watching zombie movies... Oh... Plays the video game involving shooting down alien invaders? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Mizuki. 12, 6th grader... Tonkotsu Ramen. Ooh! Oh my god, I miss having that. It's so good. Oh, Unagi and Stew. Oh, Unagi and Stew would have been like the two answers. Metal pipes. Iris. Raw seafood. How Date holds chopsticks. <laughs> how, how does he? Breeding Cleon? What is Breeding Cleon? Collecting Adora Rabbit merch. Enjoys emotionally attacking Date. <laughs> uh, okay. Renju Okuda. 37. Entertainment company and maid cafe manager. Likes unusual things. Dislikes ordinary things. Work. Enjoy songwriting. Interesting. Shoko, deceased at 36. Dislikes someone who hurt her in the past. To be envied and praised. Oh. Skills lying and trading! Oh. 
I see. I see. 24... Okay. Aset. Chocolate. Preachy people. Net idols. Maid cafe. Cooking omelette rice. Driving. Okay. True. The way she treated her in that dream was fucked up, I admit. 54? Wow. Dislikes witches. Everything that witch does. <laughs> um... Okay. Interessante. Part-time worker. Hmm. She's 42?! Holy shit, she could be my mother. <laughs> oh my god! Um... Um... Dislikes happy families, ex-boyfriends, MPD director, decluttering and organizing, going to clubs and kabuki cho, <gasps> Grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, making them obey. I know, she's beautiful as a 42-year-old. I thought she was like in her... At least late 20s. Um... Okay. Gourd? What are gourd dolls? Anything black. Wine. What are gourd dolls? Never heard of that. Okay. Engineer multiples of 16. Multiples of 16. Chairs. Tokoroten. Omore. Bugs, cats, conservatives, cyclops. Working with machines, collecting dojin, magical girls. <laughs> Building models, imitating Vuvuzelas? What are Vuvuzelas? Also, he doesn't like cats. He looks like a cat person, though. Like a cat lover. Hmm. Powers of two are great, so multiples of 16 are useful, too. I still don't get that. <laughs> what is this? B.O.? Oh my god, there's actually a dictionary for BL. Boys love. A depiction of love and eroticism between men. Although it sounds vulgar, it is often a display of pure sublime love. And there are many worthwhile works of art in the genre. Don't be so close-minded. <laughs> wow. I can't believe the game just told me to not be close-minded. <laughs> That's so funny though. Oh, I thought they were gonna explain the references and stuff. Interesting. Dork! A loser. Geek. Bill Jinshi. Fan made books and comics that celebrate a particular franchise. Usually erotic in nature. I don't have any, but I need to do some research, so please send some. <laughs> Illuminati! A secret society allegedly founded in. Ingoldstadt, uh, Bavaria in 1776. Originally just a private club of university professors and students, but now it has become... Actually, I better stop now before I mysteriously disappear. <laughs> Shovel Forge! Oh my gosh! A masterpiece of sandbox video game in which you can create structures by staffing, stacking cubes on a map. A sandbox game refers to games in which there is no story or goal, allowing the player to just relax and play. The name Shovel Forge is a parody of a popular game in the same genre, which I will not mention for legal reasons. <laughs> wow. Can't believe it. Minecraft. Interesting. Um. Oh, uh, wait, what? <laughs> because it works along the same logic as an x-ray machine, you unfortunately cannot use it to see panties. Bruh! This freaking book. What is this? What am I even? <laughs> what the hell? Would you guys abuse that power? Would you? Would you guys abuse that power if you guys had that ability? 
What is this? <gasps> Bait? Oh, no, sorry, Date. I'm <laughs> sorry. I thought this was not hit, like talking about him. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa! It, it shows like the... The art design of it. Wow! Oh, I have not seen that yet. Hopefully that's not spoilers. <laughs> Aw, little Aiba. That's the gun he uses. And then Mizuki. Uh-huh. Oh. Hey, what is she carrying? She's carrying like a metal pipe in her hand. Oh. I like Mizuki's design. I like it a lot. Okay. Um... Alright, did I look? Oh, I didn't look at Iva, sorry. Age five? What? She's five years old? Well, I don't even know what this means. What? I guess in like technology form? Since she's just technically an AI that was made? Yeah, yeah, like she was made... Five years ago, technically. But she... Per she basically doesn't have an age, technically. That's just like her model make year. <laughs> the production years. Um... What is this saying? Insect spiders, crustaceans... Dirty jokes going outside the simulation. 3D modeling, voice imitation, hacking... Okay. What is that? What are those uh, binary codes uh, say? I don't know how. To, I forgot how to read binary. It's been a long time since I took that class. I think I did that in like middle school, maybe or early high school, when I learned binary codes. It just it translates to date. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Let's, uh, exit out. Uh, I think I'm ready to go back. I've got, like, maybe... At least... Maybe half an hour. Uh, boss. Summarize for me. I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. Looking for the phone? It might be there. It might not. I just want to be sure. Take care of Mizuki, okay? Yeah. Leave it to me. Mizuki. Uh, chair. Boss is watching Mizuki with compassionate gaze. Okay, I think, uh, that's everything. Let's go. Bloom Park. So we're gonna go back onto the crime scene again. I'm a little thirsty. Would it be too bad to drink coffee now? Now like, the news. It's like Yesterday almost seven p.m. and Her body was recovered from the I'm in the mood to drink coffee. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. I don't think I should. p.m. last afternoon, police have determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park to be put on display. The MPD has expanded the scope of their investigation. Maybe T. Maybe T is okay. With any information That's to better. Forward. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. today, on the outer circle of the capital city highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at <gasps> least one truck. As a result of the pileup, one man was sent to the hospital unconscious in critical condition. Oh. Six other individuals were treated for minor injuries. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Truck coon. <laughs> oh my god. God damn it, truck coon. Always making its entrance in every game. Bloom Park, Saturday, 8 13 p.m. Can't believe it's only been one day. Okay, um... Let's 
Scream sh shrilly. <laughs> Wait, are you a ghost? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> it's me. Who you? Me? <laughs> it's me. Whom? Who said me? But are you a ghost? I'm not a ghost. Then, Iba? <laughs> why? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. <laughs> you do realize I do that all the time, right? That is true. Um, about your appearance? Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you oh, doing Libby. this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. <laughs> Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. Wait. If you could do that, change it. Wow. Be Rika from Teeth Blau. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> Why not? Wow. Because I won't. <laughs> That's so funny. Last night, Mizuki was found in that column. Why was she in there? How did she get in there in the first place? Also, guys... Never... Don't follow... Date's example. <laughs> Do not go to a, a girl and be like, Can you be like this other girl from this? Don't ever do that. It will just make them angry. I promise you that. It's a metal pole. Um... Wait, I thought there was a highlight here. Oh, 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 do, 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 do. I'm scared. It looks pathetic. Um. Okay, and now, oh, fence. Uh, roof. It's been eight years since it closed. The weather's gotten it to it pretty bad. Um. Uh, okay. Cityscape, I think, or sky. It's bright, clear, but I can't see the stars. Wait there, a shooting star. Um, a wish, a wish! While well, I was thinking, the shooting star vanished. Dang, um. Um, Reika from the Cabaret Club. The shooting star vanished before I could finish my wish. <laughs> oh, a shooting star! I want to. I want to motorboat. Damn it, I was so close! Wait, what? What were you, what were you trying to say? There are no stars in the sky. He wanted a motorboat. And I think I know exactly what he meant by that. <laughs> uh... Cityscape. Kawasaki district buildings in the distance. Okay. Um... Uh, bench! Mm, I think I got everything. Oh, no, no, hold on. Control room. This is where the ride is operated. Isn't it so weird how this game makes you want, like have to look at the same things over and over and over again? It's a horse. Like, I've already clicked the fence, the control room, and the sky, the cityscape, and everything for the past like three times I've been here. The parasol. Okay. Is that it? I feel like I... I know this place very well by now. Um... About the ringtone. It was somewhere around here, right? Sometimes there's Where a new I joke. The I suppose. Affirmative. <laughs> like the, the sky. The source can't be far. The phone must be nearby. I do not know if it actually exists. Dreams consist of memories. But that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. In fact... It is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. For example, 
The events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd, exaggerated, or otherwise warped. Clearly, they do not represent exactly what happened in reality. The ringtone as well. Mizuki didn't necessarily hear it. I understand that. But it's our only lead. Hmm. If you Nana, can you be financed? <laughs> Thank you for the super. But no! Never! <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> it looks like Aiba is standing there. How do you appear to uh how do you appear in Somnia? I am connected to your brain via artificial nerve. I am part of your working brain. Our minds are one. During the sync, when the data that constitutes your ego is transferred, some of my main programming is also transferred. That is why I appear in Somnium. Do I even need to explain this sort of thing to you? I have experienced syncing many times with you. Although, it is true that I have never appeared to you in this form. Hmm... Anything catch your eye? As I mentioned earlier, I cannot say for certain if there was a phone here. Mm. However, if there is, it must be well hidden. CSI has already well, searched the area thoroughly. But it was like underneath some puddles, they did though, not right? Discover anything. That's what Oda said. Well hidden, huh? Puddle. Maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye. Maybe. Or sh oh, I can X-ray it. Uh, what am I seeing? In this horse? Uh, I don't know. What? Oh, is there multiple horses we can look at? Maybe it's not that? I don't know. I'm so confused. Am I supposed to be finding something? In this horse? What? I'm confused! What are we looking at? <laughs> oh. Look at that. <laughs> it appears to be a smartphone. <laughs> I knew it was a <laughs> Don't lie. You doubted me. I saw that, but like, I thought it was just part of the pole, so I didn't bother. So how do I get it out? <laughs> I cannot find any weaknesses or seams in the horse's body. The horse's neck does not detach either. What? How it did it get in there? must be some hole or something. I found one. Is it the mouth? Where? Tell me. The mouth of the horse. Oh, thank God. I might be able to fit inside. One more? Oh! I got it! Wow, so convenient. Yes. Good job, Iba. At least it wasn't the, through the butt. <sighs> uh, uh, who owned this phone? It's Ota. The number is. I told I about the number. Isn't it Ota's? The results came back quickly. This is a rental phone. <gasps> a rental. The owner is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. Oh. <gasps> Come on. What? Date, look at the device history. Mm -hmm. It's gone. No outgoing call history. Well, but what about the incoming history? Technically, you can clear it. <laughs> Only one call. 9.02 p.m. yesterday. <gasps> Mizuki and Ota discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Mizuki must have heard this phone. That would connect to what we experienced in Somnium. Oh. Who is the caller? Their name isn't displayed. The number isn't in their contacts. In fact... There are no contacts. I feel like... No numbers at all. This has to be Ota. I don't know. Because... Ota's really smart and he knows how to like... Be... Like pretend to be other people and stuff. Just the one clue. The call at 9.02 p.m. I had Aiba look up the number. This number is also from a rental phone. No owner is registered. Hmm. Oh, 
Ow. What happened? The battery died. The screen turned off. Hmm. Damn. I think I missed something, sorry. It was, uh... Let's see, I think it was this line. The phone had no email addresses or browsing history. That could be a clue either. Or that could be a clue either. Um, okay, so... Iba, call the number I just gave you. Iba, remember the number I just gave you? Of course. Call it. It connected. <gasps> it connected. Uh, my name is Kaname Date. I'm with the Metropolitan Police Department. Are you an idiot? Bruh. They hung up. Why? Oh, you think so? Yeah. What kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they are from the police? I couldn't help it. Bruh. I wasn't ready. I just said the first thing that came into my head. Why? You told me to call. I didn't think it would work. Disappointing. <laughs> There's no other word for it. You're telling me. I was literally thinking that. Like, what the hell? Why did you just freaking do that? Iba, can you call it again? I'll be ready this time, I swear. But then you, you already sure? know your voice! Yeah, trust me. The number you have dialed is no <gasps> longer in service. Wow. Damn, call deny. Call deny? Call deny? Yeah, call denied. <laughs> oh, the thing Reika from the Cabaret Club did to your number. Oh, damn, you remember damn. that? Damn. Roasted. <laughs> Why was the phone in the horse? Unknown. But it does appear to be deliberate. Did the culprit do this? Or did someone else? And for what specific purpose? Hmm. Who is this person we called? Probably someone involved in the incident. They hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police. Then refused further incoming calls. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. Hmm. It sure is. Call Reika! What? Why? I want to hear her voice. <laughs> she put you on call deny. Can't you try from another line? I can. But I won't. <laughs> Use a payphone if you want to call her. <laughs> I don't have my own phone. As long as I'm within range, I can use Iva to make any call I need to. Whether it's a traditional line or Nile message, I can have Iba help me. Iba is connected to my mind wirelessly as well. So even when she's outside of my eye socket, I can talk normally. Uh, what cell tower did that call connect to? Near 3rd Street, Shinjuku. <gasps> That's a wide range. Can you tell if they called from a smartphone? They did. I can tell from the number. Does it have GPS? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. The power also appears to be off. I cannot connect from any line. Because you blew it. <laughs> <laughs> he did, though. Why would he do that? Should we go to Shinjuku? There would be no point to that now. The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the move. Right. Uh, all right, I guess let's go. Iba, let's get going. There's nothing more here. Where are we going? Iris's house? Yeah, I'm curious. About your prophecy? Absurd. It was nothing. Let's hope so. Hmm, I don't know. Seems a little suspicious. Sargon! I will never get over this. Sagan. Sagan residence, Saturday, 10.30 p.m. Hmm? Coming! <gasps> Date! <laughs> Kia! Um, uh, hello. Can I, um... Sorry, I need to look at your house again because... There might be new dialogue. Calendar and strange object. Uh... <laughs> bookshelf. No books in it, but definitely a bookshelf. It's 
sort of like non-alcoholic wine. Uh... Oh! The lights are on! <gasps> okay... Um... Speaker! Hey, Iris. Do you like bigger speakers or smaller speakers? Uh, bigger, I guess. Could you say I like them big? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Please? I hate it. Uh, I like them big. I hate it. I hate Again, it. Please? I hate it. I hate it. I like it. them big, Date. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are a despicable man. You know that? I hate it. <laughs> uh, I hate it. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell sometimes. He's... He's too real sometimes. Can see trees and skies outside. A comforter, comforting sofa. Hmm. Nothing. Sofa. Cushion. Hey, Iva. What kind of furniture always catches a cold? An absurd question. Inanimate objects cannot be afflicted by viruses or bacteria. You could at least let me tell my joke. <laughs> I was gonna say his joke just got ruined <laughs> because she took it literally. Bye. Mm, phone. Picture. Hmm. Okay, nothing new. If we've already seen it or read it, then I'm not gonna read it. Uh, kitchen counter. Microwave! Fridge! Date! A riddle! Oh no. All of the animals in the jungle gathered for a meeting. However, one animal could not participate. Which animal was it? Um. The answer is the elephant. Because you put him in the refrigerator earlier, remember? <laughs> wow, good one. <laughs> uh, I knew she was gonna continue like that whole bit about the animals in the fridge and stuff. I expected it. Uh, okay, I think I chose everything. There's nothing suspicious that I missed. Um. Oh. God damn it! Why? Date, what are you doing? Just needed a quick whiff. Okay. Why? Why? Why is the shoebox? That's so gross. <laughs> that is so gross. <laughs> wangy wangy. Dot dot dot. Date, you have confirmed that Iris is safe. Are you done here? I know, I know. Look. Looking at me impatiently. Um... Where's your mom? By the way, where's your mom? She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. She looked kind of panicky, too. <gasps> Where did she go? Uh, don't know. Uh -oh. She didn't tell me. Uh-oh. I hope she... That's not when she's gonna die. I'm hop, hop, hoppy, happy. Hop, hop, hop. Rabbit goes hop. Why do you ask? Oh, well, you see. Because I saw your dead body in a dream. <laughs> Are you seriously going to tell her that? <laughs> you hush. Hush. <laughs> oh. Uh, well. Date! You came! But uh, aren't you a little early? I chose the dialogue huh? out of order. You said you would play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow. No, I didn't. I did promise to go on a date with you. Tomorrow? It's not even midnight yet. I kept my promise by staying home, so you need to keep your promise, Date. Oh, did you want something to drink? No, sorry. I should be going. What? Leaving already? Yeah, I have some work to do. Well, will you at least watch my stream at one? Stream? Oh! Don't you remember? Live stream! I 
idol. And you're gonna stream online? Yeah. At one in the morning? Yeah. You're a young woman. You shouldn't stay up so late. Oh, jeez, you sound like an old man. Because he is an old man. <laughs> it's fine. Today isn't for work, it's just a personal stream. That's not I the feel, issue. I feel and personally attacked. <laughs> the day isn't the issue either. <laughs> anyway, please watch, okay? I'll ask you about it on tomorrow's date. Fine. Date, I have been thinking. <gasps> I am glad that nothing bad happened. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. <gasps> oh, right. Iris's words came to me. I stepped down hard on the accelerator. It does not look like he stepped down on the accelerator. <laughs> Day 3 Sunday. Gilk AI. I don't get what this part is. Like, the bottom part of it. Police headquarters, Sunday, 9.37 a.m. And we're back. Alright. Boss is sitting on the desk. Anything uh, else to report? Do I have to look through her entire office again? About Renju. Renju? Yesterday, I told you he vanished after he was questioned. Well, we found him. Where? Central Hospital. He was brought there from a traffic accident. He's unconscious and it's not looking good. Could it be? <gasps> Capital Highway? Oh, you heard about it? We heard the report on the radio last night. I can't believe it was about Renju. Hmm. Um... Hold on. I want to see something real quick. I need to double check that That's I... That's my boyfriend from about 10 years back. <laughs> we had a bad breakup, so I sliced his head off and coated it in plaster. I know that she's joking, but I also know what boss is capable of. <laughs> Alright, so it does look like there's some extra dialogue for, like, the... Um... Stuff around here. I'll just, uh, click through it if, like, the dialogue hey, is the same. Why are you always sitting on top of the desk? Because I like to be on top of my work. Sure. You sit that way on the off chance you get the opportunity to use a pun? <laughs> she really did. Cabinet. Wait. The things move around in here? Or is it just me? I swear I did not see that poster before. If you put that mask on, spikes come out that drink your blood. That <gasps> sounds familiar. I don't know what that is. What was that a was that supposed to be like a reference to something? Oh, it's a JoJo reference? I've actually never seen JoJo. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, that thing's broken. Pedal and pedal, but the damn thing won't move. Is she serious? A stationary bike. Uh, symbol. Boy band. Lifesaver. Why do oh. you have that here? A floaty. We're six floors underground, right? What if it rains? We might get flooded. I don't think a floaty would save us in that predicament. Triangular ruler. That was a piece of evidence in a case about eight years ago. A mathematics teacher used it to stab her boyfriend when she found out he was cheating on her. The triangular ruler must have come in handy for solving that love triangle. <laughs> what a knee slapper. <laughs> I picked up snowboarding recently. Oh? Why? This really hot guy from Kabuki Cho invited me, so. Oh. Y yeah? And? Skis! Ski, ski, ski! Map! Uh, 
dartboard. So, bookshelf. Happy birthday. Wasn't that party a while back? How long have you had that up? Every day is like my birthday. Every day, I'm reborn as a new woman. So you change every day? Pumpkin! Fishing flag! It's good luck, you know? Whether it's catching fish or catching criminals. <laughs> Coffee maker! Oh no, gotta look away from that. Tanuki statue. Uh, oops. Um, fishing... Wait. Big cat. Okay. Ah, I feel woozy. I too much to drink Chris Pratt! <laughs> I like how he has dialogue, too. That's so... Looking at oh. that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. You said that about the soccer ball yesterday. <gasps> oh, that just reminded me of his balls. Because what? of his size, you know? What? That sounds like a serious medical condition. <laughs> That does sound like a serious medical condition. I've actually seen, like, massive ones, and they are capable of lots of things. Guys are crazy. I used to use that for interrogations. Makes them talk, you know? How did you manage that? Pushing the handle against their throat did the trick. That is more likely to make them vomit than talk. Yeah, but then at least you've got the broom to clean it up. Hmm. They're capable of getting to the ER. Where did I see it? I don't know. I was like browsing, like the 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 an well not anime two. What was it? It was like movie two. I think it it was like one of the movie two sites, and I I just scrolled by past like a particular weird video, and I didn't click on it. But like when you scroll past it, it like sort it like sort of like shows the preview of it. Like, it auto-plays with no sound and stuff. And then, I saw this crazy thing happen. And basically, this person had massive balls. And then, a, there was like this girl, she was like on the floor or whatever. Or maybe in like, on her floors or whatever. And then, she got covered by so many of it. And I was like, what the heck is going on? Is that even real? Does, is that truly a real thing? This can't be fake, right? And I was like so confused and I was scared and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> it looked fake, but it, I couldn't tell because it looked so real at the same time. And I don't know. I, I really don't know if it was real or fake, but it looked, a, it was like a massive, like, it was like r pretty much raining in there. And I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm scarred for life. <laughs> I was semi-scarred. I was like, there's no way that the bigger the, the balls are, the more that, that like comes out, you know? It's definitely fake. Are you sure? I swear though, it looks so real. It looked so real. I was like, not sure. But I, I didn't want to click on it and I just moved on. But it was so scary. <laughs> but I just remember that and, and it reminded me of this. <laughs> I'm scarred for life. Shelves. We can't produce that much? Are you sure? Are you sure about that, guys? I don't know. I have no idea. <sighs> Not according to anime for white too. Wine. Shame you don't have an eye for it. I have a right eye. <laughs> and a left. There are wine bottles lined up. Uh, oh wait, tombstone. That means rest in peace. As in, sleep peacefully. Who's it for? Ma, from the host club. Oh. R.I.P. specifically refers to the Latin phrase requiescat and pace. Boss is correct oh. about the general meaning. Wow. I didn't know that part. That's cool. Entrance. Uh... Matryoshka. Key. Bags. Um, I think that's it, everybody. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, just kidding. Wait, wait, hold up. There's something. What, what did I just pass by? Oh. Never mind. 
Okay. <gasps> it is... It's a floaty. Uh... Coat hanger. Uh... Okay... Um... Oh! AC vent! Ooh. How many times do I have to tell you to stop ogling me? Ogling. I am not ogling you. Ogling. <laughs> I still think it's ogling. Talk to myself! There would be no point. Let's not. Oh no! Talk to yourself! I'll look crazy. Let's not. No, do it. Do it. I don't want to talk to myself like an idiot. Absolutely not. I was outside my eye socket right now, but I can still see through, uh, through her as though she were in my socket. That's because her body and my optic nerve are connected wirelessly. Uh, play a game. Let's play a word game. Okay, bring it on. Say white ten times. White, 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 white. Think of your favorite cabaret girl. Now, what does a cow drink? Milk. What? I don't get it. Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? A cow doesn't drink milk. That's the joke. Oh. I was thinking like, wait. Do cows even drink milk? I was so confused by what that was all about. There is a handsome devil. Or would I rather be an angel? That's a tough one. In any case, a gorgeous man in an eye is an eye beside. <laughs> Alright, um, let's now go back to serious business now. About Renju. Date, you should go talk to him. He is Shoko Nadami's former husband, after all. He might have some information. But he's still asleep, isn't he? Smack him across the face and wake him up. You're his friend, right? He'll understand. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> uh, about the phone. I asked HQ to look into it. They found a few things. First, the owner was Shoko Nadami. It was Shoko's phone? Yes. Her face was registered in the phone's facial recognition authentication. Oh. Mmm... Who called it? Who called the phone? Sorry, we don't know that yet. They called from a burner phone. They didn't register a name. I can make a deduction with this information. Oh? We know that the phone belonged to Shoko. Right. Whoever it was made their call at 9.02 p.m. After Shoko was killed. I believe we can make an assumption here. The caller probably wasn't the murderer. <gasps> Why would they call the phone of the person they just killed? Maybe. But the culprit might have been trying to get Mizuki to call. Wait. So that they can bring her to the scene. But then why hide the phone? They would have left it somewhere easier to find. What? Now I'm confused. I thought maybe it was Mizuki that did it. But now I'm confused. How about Mizuki? She was returned to the hospital after the sink. She'll probably be hospitalized for a while. Hmm. Mm. Strange. Mizuki's phone is at home, Date. The GPS and Wi-Fi access point confirm this. She went home by herself? Possibly. But what? why? Unknown. Wait. Who called? Wait, is there another... But either way, our mysterious caller is oh. suspicious. Sorry, I probably Consider should have this. finished that one. They did not register the phone under their real name. And also, they hung up as soon as Date mentioned he was a cop. And on top of that, they blocked Date's number and turned off the phone. The blame lies entirely with Date. I suggest cutting <laughs> his salary. I'll cut your battery. Oh, do it. I'll plug in somewhere. <laughs> anyway, we have to identify the caller. If you don't I love want your their salary banters. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> she said, "Do it." She literally has like. That's exactly how I would do... Like, say it. Like, if anyone were to, like, threaten me like that... 
I would have been like, then do it! Do it! <laughs> Any info about Shoko's phone? All the history has been erased. There's nothing on the phone itself, but we can still look up its records. I happen to have a friend at the cell company. The head office is looking into it now. Hmm. About the investigation. There's been no progress, as usual. The people at the main office are so incompetent. The smartphone you brought in yesterday is still our only lead. Hopefully there'll be a breakthrough. Hmm. Alright. Uh, in that case... Is that it? I don't have any other... Broom. Oh, I totally forgot Aiba was sitting there. <laughs> I was blending there in with the table. But we will need to speak with her directly. I hope she gets better soon. I totally forgot Aiba was like sitting there. Date, you promised to go on a date with Iris yesterday. Oh. What exactly are you planning to do? Uh oh. What? Seriously? It's a social date. A man's promise is his bond. You absolutely must keep your word. Have you ever heard of a white lie? <laughs> so you're gonna act like it never happened. Damn. That's not what I said. The day's not over yet. If I go see her and socialize for a bit, that's a date, right? Oh, so you are not planning a real date then? Nope. No, of course not. If you say so. You almost sound relieved, Iba. Oh? Pardon? Are you jealous? Oh? Uh, impossible! Oh? I could never be jealous of a silly little human like her. Yeah! Uh huh. Sure. She has a little crush? <laughs> I think Iba has a little crush. That's cute. About the investigation. I am watching the case file of Shoko Nadami as it is updated in real time. Currently, it appears as though there has been no significant progress. Hmm. Hey, Date. Why not go to that bar you haven't been to in a while? Bar? Bar? Marble in Golden Yokocho. Oh. I see. Mama runs Marble. She's an informant. Oh, maybe she knows something. Wait, Otto! No, you skipped it! She's an informant who knows just about everything there is to know about the criminal underground. Maybe she knows something. Ah, uh, Summary. I have three places to check. Central Hospital where Renju is. Uh, oh. I don't know if he's in any condition to talk, but it might help. I could also go home to see Mizuki or get info from Mama at Marble. Iba, let's move. Roger that. Okay. Uh, oh. Wait. Oh, I get to choose? Or... Can I go to both pl I have to go to both places anyway, right? Oh. Right? Oh, it's, there's three options. Central Hospital, Date, and Marble. Oh, so you go to all of them. You can go in any order? Oh. What order should I go? Should I just go one, two, three, or... I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you want? I would... Normally, I would have just gone one, two, three, but... Um, okay. Also, I know you guys are talking about marble a lot, so why don't we save the best for last? The best for last. We'll do that. Okay. We'll have build up to it. Central Hospital, Sunday. Pe Peach, never look up pizza time? FYI, what is pizza time? What were we talking about at that time? I'm scared. There's no one here. Indeed, the bed is empty. No one is in bed. Equipment used for monitoring vital signs. 
It measures heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature on the monitor. Mm hmm. Curtain. Cupboard. Oh. This is a pretty hospital. What the heck? Bedside table. Bedside table. Headlight fable. That's not even a thing. What? <laughs> what was he trying to say? TV. LCD TV? Dante, look! Sabako is coming out of the TV! <laughs> Who? Sabako? <laughs> Sabako. Not even Sadako. Sabako. A window. Chair. Oh! Ma'am? I did not even see you there! <gasps> oh my god, that scared me! I was like, whoa, I didn't even know someone was standing next to me the entire time. Um, and you are? I'm a nurse. I work here. Oh. I'm assigned to Mr. Okiera. She's cute. Um, where are we? <laughs> Mr. Okiera's room. I'm certain of it. I don't know why I would even ask that question. <laughs> I, I'm the one who arrived here. A nurse is standing there. Uh, where is he? He's not here. As you can see. Uh, where is Renju? <laughs> he snuck out at night. Snuck out? Huh? Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Oh. Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? Renju is extremely suspicious. <gasps> he has no alibi for the time of Shoko's murder. Yeah. That was noted in the investigation report. That's true. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. <gasps> he has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the hospital. Even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event. Despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. Perhaps this is an escape. Hmm. That is very suspicious. Iba, call an escape. Roger that. <laughs> Hello, this is Lemniscate Entertainment Offices. Oh my... Let me hear your message. Thank you. What? What kind of employee training do they have there? <laughs> anyway, I gave them my name and told them about Renju. Wow, she's a valley girl do you have boy. Any idea where he might be? Uh, I did not expect no that. Clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He might be <laughs> a mess right now. Oh, wait. Maybe he's at the maid cafe. Maid cafe? Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, Renji was like, I'm gonna rent out Sunfish Pocket. I guess he was gonna throw like a secret party or something. But with the accident and all... She sounds... You know, oh my god. That. She sounds like that girl from... She sounds like the mean girl from Barbie. Oh my god, wait. Do you guys know who I'm talking about? She plays as like that dark blue haired girl and she goes by like Raquel or whatever her name is. She, like, she sounds exactly like her. I'm not joking. Uh, Renju used to talk about it. He runs Lemonis uh, Lemniscate as well as that maid cafe. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Farewell. Sunfish pocket, huh? It is worth scoping out. Oh, uh, map. Oh, Marvel's number two already. Wait, but oh, Date's residence. Sorry, it oh, it got moved up. Okay, sorry, I got confused. They moved it up. Date's residence. This is where I live. Sunday. <gasps> the 
Tomi Sagan, Iris's mother. Yes, but why? Oh, Date. Sorry what? for showing up like this. How's Mizuki lifting? Mizuki, what are you doing? How is Mizuki like? lifting? Bench pressing. You can talk. What? Yes, she's no longer mute. What? Wait, I'm so I'm so confused. I received a Nile message from Mizuki last night. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. How is she I casually went to the to pick her up. <laughs> lifting that thing up? I don't get she it. She left earlier. <laughs> she got a Nile message from someone. Oh. Mizuki wrote a note oh saying that she God. wanted to go home. She's only Not 12. to Renji's house, but here. What the hell? So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. She's only 12, guys. That's, she's only 12. How is she doing that? Bench press. What the hell? How long do you plan on doing that? Until my muscles are screaming at me to stop. You there yet? Nope. Not even close. What? My muscles are laughing like this is nothing. What? Zate, I would not push Mizuki while she is in this state. You may end up killed via head injury. <laughs> yeah, you're right. If I attempted to do exactly what she was doing, I would that thing would have just fell on me. And I would have gotten hurt. <laughs> oh, so this is my house? Interesting. Bed. Mizuki sleeps there every night. Oh. Large speaker. No wonder. No wonder he's asked. <laughs> no wonder he asked other people if they prefer larger or smaller sound systems. <laughs> his is massive. This is a nice sound system. Oh, it's nothing special. It's not top of the line. I only spent a couple million yen. Oh, so it's cheap. That's good. I spilled soda on it on accident. <laughs> you did what? Oh. Caught in 4K. Oh, shit. Audio equipment for an audio file. Haven't paid it off yet. <laughs> She's funny. I like Mizuki. She's funny. That stuffed animal. It's Mizuki's favorite character. <gasps> What's its name again? Oh. Yeah, that's Ad Rabbit. Hi, you rabbit. Gave it to on her birthday. Aww. You don't have to tell her that. Looks like the Sergeant Frog characters. Top of his glass. That's Carpet. Hey, is it true? Mizuki told me you hid a magazine under the rug. Something about eating a nice spread? What? Why did you hide a cooking magazine? Ah! Um, I don't think that's the type of magazine that she was referring to. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice spread. <laughs> Wait, am I, is my bed in this area or no? Probably not. I actually don't know. Date, I'm sorry. I looked inside your fridge earlier. Why do you have so much meat in there? Oh, I'm on a diet. You what? see, I'm, I'm a recovering vegetarian. Oh. <laughs> no, Wait. I believed him. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I am what the hell was that face that he laugh. just made? <laughs> Did you see his face when he made that? Or when he said that? <laughs> it's packed with beer, food, and a bunch of meat. Kitchen. There are seasonings and cooking equipment lying around. Uh, pot. Okay, oven hood. Okay, uh, fire pan. Okay, light. And, uh, add a rabbit. Uh, uh, cushion! That's an unusual pattern on this cushion. Oh, don't touch that. That's Date's drool. Ew. Nasty. I also use as a bed. Oh, I've been sleeping here for four years. Mizuki took over my bed. Oh, so he just... He sleeps on the couch. Oh. Interesting. Carpet. 
Alright. Feet. Uh, armchair. File cabinet. I keep a bunch of documents there. Corkboard. Uh, computer. You're a studious man, aren't you, Date? I heard from Mizuki. Whenever she's not around, you're always on your computer, watching training videos. Training videos? Yes. A female secret agent caught in the enemy's hideout or something. Uh... Ah, yes. Yeah, that. Right. But Mizuki, did you watch that movie? <laughs> Only the title. Don't uh... touch my computer without uh... asking. I don't think that was a movie. <laughs> I have lots of training videos on there. Training too, guys. <laughs> he has a lot of training too now. You know what? That's a perfect cover-up. I should take that. The light of the autumn day is coming in through the window. Oh, uh, let's see. I wear the same clothes. And she wears the same clothes. We each... We each have basically one outfit. That's because we're rational people. I don't want to waste my precious time and brain power thinking about what clothes to wear every day. A lot of successful businessmen and scientists do it. Okay, honestly, musically, and I do have other outfits. We just keep them somewhere else. Uh-huh. I see. I see you two hang your clothes side by side. You get along well. <laughs> dot dot dot. <gasps> There's the iron pipe! Mizuki's favorite metal pipe. I have no idea what she uses it for. A backpack. In just a few months, she'll need a bigger backpack. They grow up so fast. Oh, oh yeah, she has the really cute snapback, um, like Japanese style school bag. That's cute. Always wanted to try one. All right, I guess I'll uh, speak to Mizuki. Uh, about Renju. Wait. Ah! But it started talking to her. Mizuki re racked the weight. Wait, wait. What's wrong with Daddy? Wait. You haven't heard? Heard what? She does not know about the accident. <gasps> oh. Why were you holding the ice pack? Um. When I got there, the ice pick was. It was. It was stuck in my mom's eye. Oh no. I couldn't think straight. I. The only thing I could think was. I had to get it out. So you pulled it out? Yeah. After Ota ran away? Yeah. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. Oh. About the Nile message. Mizuki. Sorry, I'm going out of order. Renju <laughs> sent you that Nile message, didn't he? Changing topics what? a little bit I got too this much. buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... So you kept quiet. Oh. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki District. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Hmm... Um... Was Shoko's left eye on the ice pick? I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm 
I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. Oh, I know. I feel bad for asking. So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball. I feel bad for asking, but like no, it's very it important information too. Cause that eyeball has yet to be found. Stuff like that it can really be a game changer. Where is Renju? I don't know where he is. Can you think of anywhere he might go? No, not really. I don't know where Daddy goes. Did he visit you when you were in the hospital? No. But I didn't expect him to. Aww. He's always busy. He doesn't care about me. Aww. About your aphonia. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks to you. Well, not exactly you. It was teacher who stayed with me all night. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me about Hitomi? I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. Uh, damn. <laughs> about Hitomi. She's my teacher. She's special. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Oh. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. Aww. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. Aww. I can't help myself. Duh. I she should be the mother. So you're her teacher. Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki's school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but he described you as a relative. Mm. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. Mizuki lives here with me, but I'm not her legal guardian. That's why I've never been to school with her or anything like that. That was all left to Renju. He might not be any good at rais uh, raising her, but he is her father. He takes care of all the official stuff. That was one of the conditions for me taking in Mizuki. Um... Is it just a coincidence that you're Mizuki's teacher? You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here. That's right. A district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well... I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but it wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju mm. seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. They even moved to get into my school district. That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes, but I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Officially, Mizuki lives at Renju's house. Her local elementary is actually pretty far from here, my house. Mizuki takes the train every morning to get there. Hmm... Um, how's Mizuki at school? <laughs> oh boy. She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. Oh good. And more than anything, she is kind. Oh. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. <clears throat> when I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a good girl. <laughs> What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. <laughs> Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Sounds like more than just incidents. Um, I mean... But I like that about her. She's nice. She's a little clumsy. Well and deserved. Just like Renju. The bully deserved it. Um... Also, I think she's she really must like those animals, or I, she might be an animal lover. I don't know, but yeah, I totally get it. You know, dissecting frogs and stuff. You know, um, how did you get her talking again? You know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Oh. Held her? I was hugging her close to me all night. Oh. When dawn came. I heard her say, teacher, and then she started to cry. Mm -hmm. As you can see, she's fine now. 
She had a lot she bottled up. She just wanted to it hug. came out with the tears, I think. She just needed a hug. <laughs> I wish I could be hugged by her too. Date, something catches my eye. What? Hitomi's right shoulder. <gasps> Use the x-ray. Wait. Why? You'll see. Wait, hold on, let me finish this real quick. Where's Renju? Renju? I don't know. Really? Hitomi does not appear to know that Renju was hospitalized either. Okay, I'm scared. Oh! <gasps> what in the world? That's... A plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. <gasps> oh. oh. What? Has a metal plate in her right shoulder? Interesting. Oh. Maybe she fractured or broke her shoulder? Pardon me for asking, but your right arm. Oh. Does it bother you? Can you not move it? No. I can't even feel it, I'm <gasps> afraid. Oh. Was that an accident or? I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. <gasps> the nerves died and. Oh. oh. Wait! Anyway, the story is one day a criminal broke into my house. <gasps> and he was carrying a gun. And the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Oh. Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of Did anything. Did she just pretend to die? Just a random crime. She laid there on the floor pretending like she died? What? The dream I saw. What? Summarize for me. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, it's both aunt, uh, both of them. Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. How I went into shock? Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Either, either she passed out or teacher. maybe big brained and pretended hmm. to die. Is I don't know. Some, some characters can be smart like that. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. So. Oh, we're done. Okay, map. Marble! Marble Sunday. Well, well, if it isn't <gasps> Dante! Oh my Long time no see. Is something wrong? No, oh, I just wanted gosh. to talk. Let's go. About Shoko Nadami, Ren's ex. Oh my god, the image is around this bar. Ren meaning Renju Oshiura. I saw it all on the news. How awful. Oh my gosh. Dang, the fur coat. I have something like that, actually. A white one. This is a painting of Saint Sebastian. Saint Sebastian was a Saint faithful Sebastian. Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian. On January 20th, 288 AD, he was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. Oh. Something wrong, Date? Um... You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. <laughs> Why now, of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah, it was a gift from Ren a while back. I've always had it there. <laughs> Apparently it was a gift from Renju. Okay, blackboard. Specials are written on the chalkboard. Duck woman's upper lip. Buster! Ben and Clyde do right by me. I wonder what that is. Oh, a fly. Uh, menu. It has writing on the back. Okay. Um, radio. Bridge. Wow. My goodness. Oh? Well, you've changed since I last saw you. You're such a square now. Square? Excuse what me, the hell? that is a fridge. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell, Date? I 
was trying to look at the refrigerator and you had to make that comment? Come on. Uh, counter? What do you think this counts? Bars? I do not appreciate wow. your pun. So funny. Beer tap. Date, what do you call a bottle of beer on your face? Um, a beard? Why would you do that? Wow. Wow! I hate this. <laughs> God damn it, Date! Hey, Date. Wanna watch men in Fundoshi's pounding drums? Fundoshi's? No, thanks. I'm good. <laughs> Okay, anything else? Stool? Sofa? Table? Uh, poster? Uh, okay. Oh, that is super... Oh god, my eyes! I'm so sorry. Hold on. I need to blink. Or squint. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I just had to make sure. Okay, um... Mm, I think that's it. I think I got everything in this room. Hopefully. Hopefully! Uh, okay. Uh, uh, how have you been? I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? <laughs> I don't see you around here much anymore. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. <laughs> Oh. Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows, sometimes getting into arguments. One time it even became a real fight. You it remember looks that? like Yagami Light. Really? But with glasses oh, and yes. blind. <laughs> you don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Oh. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. <laughs> it blew up on you. <laughs> That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Hmm. Um, about his watch. Yeah, his favorite watch. He got it from his new lover. An anniversary gift. Oh, this was, of course, after the divorce. New lover? <laughs> Ren was so happy. He showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. Ooh, about Shoko. I have something, but I don't know how useful it will be. No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Yeah. They were part of a massive fraud scheme. <gasps> really? That's right. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. So maybe... The Kumakuras killed her? <gasps> I don't know for sure, but they were capable of it. Maybe Shogo did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. Wait! The Kumakuras? Oh. Okay. I gotta remember. Can you get me a glass of water? Hmm, that's unusual. Not a bourbon. I'm working. I drink at work all the time. We have very different occupations. It's kind of the same. <laughs> I make people throw up. You make people throw up the truth. <laughs> That's a really good thing. Um, this is a bar called Marble in an alley called Golden Yokocho. She runs the place. We all call her Mama. She might technically have the body of a man, but she's got a maiden's heart. She belongs to a lot of pro-LGBT groups and the like. Let's fucking go. Where is Renju? It's been a while. I have no idea. What's wrong with Ren? I told Mama about the uh, accident. And about how he disappeared from the hospital. Oh no, really? Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. 
Mama spends her time running the bar, but she's also full of secrets and confidential information. Drunk people tend to not to be careful with secrets and rumors. You know how it is. So a place like this is perfect for gathering information. Well, there's politics, business, entertainment, even crime. Mama knows it all. Whenever I get stuck on an investigation, I come see her. Summarize. Shoko was involved in illegal activities. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. They have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. Mm. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. Oh, guess we're done. What are you doing, by the way? Polishing Bonito. Bonito? It is not well known, but dried Bonito is a fermented food. They are boiled and dried, which attracts a particular mold as it ages. That's how you dry it? It takes between three to four mold attraction sessions and results in high quality Bonito. Mama is cleaning off the mold right now. Oh. Oh, wow. Interesting. That sounds good. Sunfish packet. How many places are there? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Sunfish packet. <gasps> I need a stopping point. I don't know where, where or when. Um, but I'm getting a little hungry. Let's see. <gasps> oh my god. Maid cafe, guys. Welcome home, Sea King. Mermaid! Sea King? Oh. <laughs> Is this your first time here? Uh, sorry. I'm not here as a customer. I need to talk to someone about what? something. Uh, mermaid? It's... it's a me! It's a me! Uh, of course he's here. Why am I not surprised? Jeez, kid. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, she's so oh, pretty. Sir! Oh, wait a minute! Wait, she has seashells on her boobas. <laughs> Ooh, melon soda. Date. Oh, I want melon soda so bad. Oh my god, I'm... Oh. <laughs> I miss Japan's melon soda with the ice cream scoop on top. Ah! That was the best thing I ever had. Oh, I'm missing it so much. <laughs> she is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And oh my gosh, the legging grab. The thigh grab. Do you see that, guys? You see how it like, just gets thicker right here? Oh my gosh. Alright, um, where do I start? She's so pretty. Uh, omelette rice. That omelette rice too looks delicious. Menu. Option ah uh, two thousand yen. And what is ah? Uh, I don't know. Cream soda. Ah, uh, sounds about right for Ota. You guys need to try this. This is the best thing ever. Like, I could not stop getting cream or melon sodas ever since. What is he holding? Um... What's with that spear? It's not a spear. It belongs to Poseidon. God of the sea. You know, a trident. <laughs> Why do you have that? <laughs> we treat our customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. Wow. The color changes depending on your rank. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. Or so a what now? Measures how much money you've spent on or a calcum? Well, that doesn't sound very nice. Uh, it's more like a way to exploit their vanity, to separate our customers from their money as much as possible. That sounds even worse. Um... Anyways... I'm gonna look at these other people. That customer looks like he's on death's door. Let's hope he's not blowing his life savings here. 
table. What kind of furniture can you drink? What? Um, a light beer? Nope. Rice? You can't drink rice. The answer is liquefied leather sofa. How would anyone ever guess that? What? Can you even drink that? I'm confused. What is everybody saying? I, I can't... I don't understand the jokes ever. I'm really bad at understanding these. Uh... She's very odd. Oh, can I look at the pictures? So, who's your type, Date? Sorry, but no one stands out to me. I don't go for the spawn. I'm more of a big catch fisherman. <laughs> uh, what? I think he's saying he likes older women. Ah, uh, understandable. He is completely valid. <laughs> Other mermaids. They like uh the girls are working. He looks seriously ill. <laughs> the door I came in. <laughs> Why does everybody in this cafe look like weird? He looks seriously ill. <laughs> um Let's see... I guess... Uh, lights! Oh, those are pretty! Jellyfish! That's so cute! Counter. Hmm... Cafe signboard. Says sunfish pocket. Lifesaver. It looks like a flotation device, right? But it's actually a huge donut. Kitchen window. Drum. Mm, box. What's in the box? The severed bottom half of a mermaid. You could have just said the tail. What? Okay. Um. Is that it? I think I checked everywhere. Hold on. Surveillance. <gasps> Security camera. Um. Okay. I think I looked everywhere. Uh, all right. Let's talk to. Or let's talk to her. Look at this cafe. The maids and clerks are referred to as mermaids. I see. What's the seeking? That's what we call the customers. Us mermaids serve the sea kings. And we really are mermaids, you know. Don't tell anyone. What? <laughs> Everyone working here is a real mermaid. <gasps> but you have legs. They were a gift from Poseidon. We were given legs and feet. Wow! So that we can gather riches and foreign currency in the labor market. What? <laughs> Dante, let's go. <laughs> no, not yet. Oh shit, guys, I've been so caught so in 4K. Sure. Oh no, I gotta Do go, I everybody. <laughs> oh shit. The jig is up. I gotta go, guys. I'll talk to you later. Looks like my Uber's here. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, introductions. Oh, oops. By the way, I didn't introduce myself yet. <laughs> I'm Konami Dante of the Metropolitan Police Department. You're a detective? Something like that. Something like that. Is Renju here? No, he never showed up. When was the last time he came here? Hmm, let me think. He's just the owner, not the manager, so... He comes sometimes, but not all that often. Hmm. Why is there an x-ray option on you? Okay. And... What am I looking at? Why is she covering her crotch? 
Um... What am I supposed to be looking at? What are... What is an... What? I'm confused. Date, I must be the bearer of bad news. Even with x-ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. Your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. <laughs> the concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising rapidly. What are you excited about? Oh my god. Those bones. Are those even like... How? How does her bones transform into that? Her hips? Are you seeing this? <laughs> I'm about to cry tears of joy. <laughs> Do you have a paraphilia for bones? What's a paraphilia? Oh, I... I got an achievement called bone... Bonophilia. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fetish? Oh, I didn't know there was another word for that. You get to look again? Look. Huh. I can see right through. This guy. You seriously disgust me, Date. <laughs> again? <gasps> she has such gorgeous, well balanced bone structure. Again? Oh no, wait. I don't think it's... it's here. I think I just have to look at her. Okay, look. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we're done. <laughs> that was a good bit. I also really like her design. Look at the... the seashells on her... each of her boobas. Maybe I should do that one day. She's cute. Uh, are you a regular here? Sure am. I come here whenever I've got time and money. I was here yesterday, too. Around 6.30, I think? But I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home. So I bought a new one. A new hmm. what? A phone? I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? Oh. How the heck did he afford a new one? Because I'm worried about Tessa. Iris, what's the matter? Yesterday night. <gasps> well, it was past midnight, so more like this morning? I don't care about the timing. What happened? Tessa was streaming, as usual, from her living room at home. <gasps> but suddenly... Actually, let me just show you. Oh no! I always record her streams. You weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> this weirdo. What he gonna use that for later, huh? I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. It's been a while. I don't think he even clips. Got it. I'll He's try just my archiving best. them. Oh, whoa, whoa. Little short there. Okay, everyone. Here's my debut song. <gasps> Let's hit it. <gasps> oh my gosh! That's so cute! Oh my gosh! Who could it be at this hour? Uh-oh. Is it Date again? Okay, one second, I'm coming! Uh-oh. For now. I'll sing the rest next time. Bye. No. And suddenly every ASET fan watching is like, who's Date? Then starts hunting for his blood. <laughs> I know, I, I was surprised by how she casually just dropped his name like that on stream. <laughs> um have you seen Renju? I'll follow up no, in a bit. No, I haven't seen him. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? 
The body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex-wife. I didn't know that she was Mizuki's mom. Mm -hmm. Did she change her name or something? Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body, and I just... Yeah. Left her there you ran, ran like, like a, a coward. Pussy. I'm such a piece of shit. I should have stayed. I should have done something. Why yeah. did I do that? Oh, is it eating you up inside, Ota? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Wait. Oh, shit, wait. I hope that wasn't the end of it. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> that is just creepy. While you're sitting here adding up your options? But you can order two, Date. That's not why I'm <laughs> mad, Ota. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's with your trident? I'm still gold. Not that good. How much did you spend to get that? Um, about 200,000 yen. I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. <laughs> uh, I understand it as well. I This guy... I can't with him! Me too! One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning? And then she leaves? She looked really serious too. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. She didn't read any of my Nile messages either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Tessie used to work here. She made a lot of friends. I'm one of them. Oh. I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls too, but no one knows anything. Iba, call Iris. Uh-oh. She's not gonna pick up, right? The number you are attempting to dial is either offline uh -oh. or available. No way. <gasps> no! Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. Something wrong, sir? No. no nothing. What if it actually I happened? I wonder if Tess is okay. I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. No. Not again. Uh, not again. Not again. <laughs> Again! Ah. You look like you can eat just fine. <laughs> Summarize for me. Also, thank you for the sofa. Weird that Ota spends money on cute girls for entertainment? Who would do that? Anyway, here's 10. <laughs> thank you. Dante, Renju is not so at this true, location. Though. Am I right? Am I right? We have other areas we need to search. Yeah, you're right. We do. Oh my gosh. Is this the last place? Tell me it's the last place. Okay, I'll end it here, guys. This is the last place. This is my... My stopping point for today. Kumakura office. <laughs> Thank you, Rishupa! Who's this asshole? Oh, Yakuza. You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye, then. Hey, Date! What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? Oh. <gasps> oh! 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 <laughs> Little chicks. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? Huh? What is happening? So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA. His face scares me. I don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. 
I have a few things I want to ask you. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko Nadami? Sure. Melma? How? Heard it on the news. The media is making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Can't help but hear about it. Ah. I like this BGM. Oh, whoa. Dragon. A bronze dragon. If I make a wish, will it come true? That is not Shenron. <laughs> I wish for panties. <laughs> I told you that's not Shenron. This guy is such a perv. <laughs> Holding a golden ball. Kumakura. Shrine. Crest. The Kumakura Crest. Okay, um, let's look at... Phone. Desk. Mouse. Or keyboard. Computer. I, can you hack it? <gasps> I cannot. The power is off. Dang. Not even in sleep mode. Darn. Chair. Desk. Probably belongs to someone in the gang. There are a ton of things on top. Okay. Mm, member A. The fat one, he's holding his stomach in pain. Talk to him? I got nothing to say to you. Okay, sorry. Oh, so far. Do you think that pulls out into a bed? What would be the point of that? <laughs> um. Partition. Permit. Whiteboard. Where's Kazuma? You're right. Where is he? 20 seconds, go to the zoo to see pandas. <gasps> I want to see pandas. Mm, talk to him. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. You're right. <laughs> Knife. The kind that knifes nicely at night. It just might. Ah, that was so hard to say. The company philosophy on the wall. After 40, your toenails will grow slower. Well, that's an interesting motto. It's like a summary of the ideals and goals of that company. It's written on the wall. Okay. Locker. Mmm. Tiger ah, rug. A big flying squirrel. <laughs> that is a tiger. That's a tiger! Ashtray. Blood table. Marvelous. What? Marvelous Marvel. Marble. <laughs> Marvelous Marvel. Uh, wait, what? Tiger rug. Okay. Oh! The skinny one is completely out. Okay, um... There's nothing else. Hold on, computer. Oops. Okay. Chair! The chairman's chair. <laughs> Shelves. I think my voice just like cracked for a second. Sorry. Window. Wilma. Uh, you know, uh, where's the chairman? <laughs> what? The chairman is right in front of you. Oh. <laughs> what? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. <laughs> That can't be right. <laughs> the chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. <laughs> is this supposed to be a reference to Monokuma? You are the chairman. <laughs> Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? I just realized Dr. it now. Wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura uh, died last year. It has to be. He left to his death from the roof of a building. A suicide? It sounds just like Monokuma. last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago. MoMA and Kuma. Mona Kuma. Mona Kuma. Maybe it's not exactly referenced, but like, I swear to you guys, it, it just is a play on words that sounds similar to Mona Kuma. Um, did the... Let's see, about Shoko. 
Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Mm. Do you know anything about the investment fraud? I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. You must have gotten some bad info. Did the Kumakuras kill her? Fuck no. Why would we do that? I don't Doctor, know. Look at this. A thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. <gasps> Body temperature rising. Oh. Red hot lie. Red hot lie. It appears that way. How do I get him to come to it? Remove his fingernails one by one. Ah! Uh, Not my style. Cut his fingers. Blackmail him? Blackmail? Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. Well, I did, actually. I did look all over the room. Ain't no way we're doing this again. <laughs> There's no way, right? Right? There's no way that there was a new one that just showed up. No way. What? What? Um... No way we missed something. No way. What? No freaking way. Something special? The mouse? Bruh. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> hey. I'm so... What? Where am I gonna find this? I might have probably passed it already. Hold on, guys. Do not tell me what it is. Oh. X-ray. Oh! Aylet! Wait, he says... There's a hidden safe behind the crest. What the heck? There is something inside. I recognize that. <laughs> it's just like the one I saw at Matsushita Diner. An Aset figure. Correct. But why is that there? Unknown. But perhaps. <laughs> Aset, hey, you bet. You wouldn't happen to be a fan of Aset, would you? What? Who's that? <laughs> the schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? He's tough as bricks and hard as nails. Oh, yeah? Never being a pussy shit like that, fucker. Oh, yeah? Why don't you open up that safe and show everybody then, huh? <gasps> Shadows? Shadows. Threat! A silhouette ASAP! <laughs> God, wait! Is it shadows, fears, water? Is that the right... Uh, does the order matter? <laughs> what? Does the order matter? No, and he's fine. Fears. Fears. Upset? Uh, regret? Asen! <laughs> water! Water. Wet? Uh, sweat? Asen! He sent you back! <laughs> Just as I thought. Boss? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Sh shut up! Don't look at me! Get out of here! <laughs> Did you hear me? I said get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, the fat one grabbed the skinny one and dragged him out. I've got your secret now. He caught him. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try this again now. Do you have an? Uh, actually, I had no idea you were a Net Idol fan. <laughs> How did you know? You're hiding an A-set figure in the safe. How did you know that? 
I have superpowers. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, about Shoko and Kumakuras. I knew right. he was gonna say that he was some sort we do of have super. Connections with the investment like, company Shoko like worked a super. A company that commits fraud. Or whatever. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. Hmm. Mm, what about Rohan Kumakura? Ooh. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. Mm. But he's gone now. A suicide. Yeah, after breaking out of the hospital. Um... Why was he hospitalized? About 20 years back. Both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. Mm. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face <gasps> in with a metal bat. Oh. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. Ouch. The doctors say he can still see. But it doesn't register. Oh. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. Oh. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Hmm. I'm That's trying to imagine it right now. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Ah. Uh, was Rohan left-handed? Yeah, <gasps> he was. Oh! Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. This is so hemisphere. much for my brain already. Rohan <laughs> suffered a beating on the left side of his head. Ow. That must have damaged his left brain. Ow. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. Oh. Hmm. There's no way it could be him, right? I don't know. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. Oh. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him. From the toe to the thigh. Ah! Totally blank expression. Like he was scraping bonito flakes. Oh. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? He started climbing the ranks, and eventually he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. Oh. When was he hospitalized? About six years ago. I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. He didn't give me the details, but... I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. Mm. He ended up shooting some guy <gasps> in his house. A few days later, cops busted him. Uh-oh. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but... It was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know? His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. 
I see me. Do you have an alibi for Shoko's murder? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel. They'll tell you. Dante, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko. Including Moma. Hmm. You know Renju Okiura, right? No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. I told Moma about Renju's accident. And about his disappearance from the hospital. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Oh. Looks like he's not lying. Request info on Renju. Hey, Moma. I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? Then your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. <laughs> In exchange for helping Blackmail. There's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASAP. <gasps> what? <laughs> I met her yesterday at Lemniscade. We're acquaintances now. Really? Oh, yeah. boy. You promise? <laughs> yeah, I promise. <laughs> Yep, he's definitely falling for it. Summarize! The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASAP fan. Really? That information might come in handy later. Yep. Let's go somewhere else, Iva. We got what we needed here. Yay! Abyss Headquarters. Maybe, um, I think I should probably end it right here, actually. It's been about five and a half hours since I started playing, but God, I don't want to stop. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably save it right here. I think this is a good one to stop at, so... I'll do it right there. Alrighty! Whew. We're gonna continue tomorrow, though, so you guys don't gotta wait for a while, but... That was a really good run of AI Somnian Files. Ah, oh, that was so good. I'm going to uh, return to the title menu now. Thank you guys for introducing me to this game, though. This is really good. I want to th thank Alira personally for showing me this game. This has been really good so far, and I'm really enjoying the story so far. And the characters. I do really like Date. He's a really funny guy. And I really like all of the jokes and references that they're making in this game. It's really good. And I can't wait to find out more about this investigation case as well. Because I'm sure there's going to be a lot more coming afterwards as well. And everything's going to click together for finding out Date's past life and stuff. So I'm very curious to know more. And not sure how it's all going to end. But I'm really excited to see more of it. And... The actual gameplay mechanics and stuff, so... This has been really nice for me so far, so I appreciate it. Thank you all for coming here today. And also, thank you! Thank you for the super chats as well. Thank you, Flyboy Joy. Thank you, thank you! And Blaine Crosby as well. And me, thank you! Thank you, everybody! I appreciate it. Thank you all for coming. I'm gonna continue tomorrow. We're gonna stream very similarly. Uh, tomorrow as well. Probably like another four or five hour stream, so... Be ready, everybody. We are going to try to get through the series as fast as we can, but thorough as we can be, so... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. VOD Squad, here I come. Uh, shout out to the VOD Watchers. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you all. I really enjoyed this, and I can't wait to find out more. 
Um, I'm probably going to end it here though since I'm extremely hungry. My mouth is dry and I can barely speak <laughs> anymore. So I'm gonna go and rinse that down with some... Maybe some tea, but... You know, the coffee sounds nice, but maybe it's not a good idea. <laughs> so I'm gonna go eat some food. I've been so hungry and thinking about the, the melon soda and the omuraisu and stuff. Ugh, so good. Thank you. Also, thank you, King Kiki Dever. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jackson, as well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, same time. So, thank you, everyone. And thank you, Lila, again, for showing me this. Also, thank you for coming by and watching as well. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know you'd be watching throughout. So, thank you, everyone. And thank you, Lila. Thank you for gifting me the game. And I'll see you guys. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you, thank you. I love Date and everybody in this game. Thank you. Except for Ota, he's kind of a weirdo, but yeah. <laughs> um, bye. Ota fish, Ota fish. Bye bye.